I got one thing to say to you guys. The Legion, it's back. I want this to be the greatest dynasty ever. I want to chase the Patriots in rings. We have the offense to do it. We have Kenneth Walker Jr., DK Metcalf, Evan Stewart, who broke out last year after we drafted him. On defense, we have Woolen, Julian Love, Devin Witherspoon, X-Factor Boy Amafe. The sky is the limit, and I intend to make this the greatest team ever. I've never loved a franchise so much. I gotta decide, do I pay Tua? Do I draft a new quarterback? Either way, we got defense. So nothing else matters. Guys, year three, let's go. I want this to be my first 10 season franchise. And you guys are doing your job. Kill the like button and it'll continue happening for 10 seasons, assuming we get 8,000 likes. Guys, Seahawks, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Legion is back, baby. This is my favorite franchise. The last franchise season was my favorite franchise season I have ever done in my entire life. So thank you all who were a part of it. We won the Super Bowl 24 to three and just dominated on defense the entire time. Was a movie, if you didn't see it, it was the craziest season I've ever had in my life. I would put it like number one this year. Well, in the top five this year because there was times in that season where I was completely defeated um, and I've never played worse. And then in the playoffs, I just like, I labbed up, I ran a new offense, I ran a new defense and we won the entire thing. Shout out Evan Stewart, who was a stud for us. Shout out DK Metcalf. And most importantly, shout out this defense, who had everybody in a Snuggie. Somehow, Baron did not go up to Superstar. He was the Super Bowl MVP, as well as having like eight picks. Nobody deserves it more than this guy. Uh, but sadly, he did not get it. He had six picks last season and won the Super Bowl MVP with a bunch of sacks. Julian Love, Baron had a really, or Desan McLeod, he had a really good year. Um, he's our 85 speed safety but guys we got some things to talk about i i genuinely like oh, where do i even begin here the biggest question mark okay so tua we brought in to win the bowl now unfortunately i'm recording this before i can get feedback but this is a very interesting class it's kind of broken some of these classes you can see there's a lot of under but it's, it's pretty top heavy there's dante moore nico and arch manning are the three best quarterbacks in this draft um and the, the thing is, where do I even begin here? Um, well, let's just go to Tua's contract situation. The issue is, if we look at Tua's contract, this is what he wants now. Now, first things first, I have to accept the fifth year option of Witherspoon, accept the option, and JSN I'm 50-50 I'm on, if I'm being honest. I don't think I'm going to. Lucas, I think he's good enough to like, I should try and keep him around. That's an expensive tackle, but I'm willing to pay him. Now, this is where this all gets really, really, really dicey. I'm not gonna lie to you. To his contract that he wants is five years and $50 million. 55 million a season for the next five years. He won a Super Bowl and he deserves it. He doesn't have crazy interest in our team. The player friendly, which is probably what he would actually sign, would be about $74 million a season. What I want to offer him is essentially this. I want to offer him one year just to see what happens and this much over one season. I just, I'm genuinely curious what he's, I don't, you can't get rid of him, but that's a really expensive, okay. So Tua is not interested in signing him. I would have franchised Tua. It is a one year, $52 million contract, and I am going to do it, which essentially takes away free agency for us, which is fine. I'm happy with that. That at least gives us one more year to figure out where we're at money-wise, figure out QB situations, and stuff like that. JSN, I can still resign. I'm just not going to accept his fifth year option. Um, Calvin Joseph, I'd really like to bring back. He was really big in the Super Bowl. Um, and I think he would want to stay here. We want to kind of try and keep this defense as together as possible. These are the million dollar questions. Tua. How was I with Tua? Let's, let's grade this. Because in the Super Bowl, I didn't have crazy stats. In the playoffs, I never had crazy stats. It was... He game managed super well, and he was exactly what we needed. However, were we insane with him? Probably not. We weren't. We weren't like 
absolutely like mind-blowingly good. But I think he definitely did enough to deserve to be like, hey, you should be the quarterback this year with Evan Stewart, DK, him, the defense that we have, we should be able to play some really, really, really good football. That's the first thing I want to say. Second thing I want to talk about is draft. So the weakness of this team, I would say right now, if there was a weakness, it would be our defensive line other than Boya Mafe. Our offense is really, really, really fun. Evan Stewart made some of the best catches ever all throughout the playoffs. He was an absolute stud. Shout out to him. Um, our tight end position, Noah Fant. I said I was going to cut him after his one drop. DK, Evan Stewart. Our defense is truly the legion. Love, Witherspoon, Wiggins, Tariq Woolen, Boya Mafe. This side of our line is really weak, and I want to use my picks to try and help this part of the defense. I feel like if this part of the defense got better, every single part of the defense is going to get way better. Wiggins is elevating going into year three. Two is back for one more year minimum. The other thing is I've had some crazy offers for Tua. This is where things get really, really complicated. Tua, now that he's a superstar, is very sought after. So it's like, I know people are going to want him. So do I try and trade up for one of the big three? The big three being Arch, Dante, and Nico. Nico is a real, like, I would love him as a quarterback. Same with Dante Moore uh, out of Oregon, Arch Manning. There's a bit of a drop off, but there are some other players here. It's just kind of ordered weird. I know there's some pretty good players, but this is also a class that features a ton of super talented receivers. It's a really good receiver class. And then it's a good defensive line class as well. There's a lot of studs um, that we can look to. Like I would like to draft a defensive tech. We don't have an early pick. With all this being said, I'm gonna get on the phone and we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna, let's go to free agency. Uh, we'll take this one step at a time and let's just, we'll go from there. Okay, free agency is more just like we get to look, but we're not really there to, um, I, I, don't, I don't intend on spending a dime in free agency. There's a lot of good players in free agency. Um, the only thing that I really would like is a kicker because my kicker's not very good. So I'd like to bring in a kicker, Brandon Aubrey. I've had success with him before actually. Who's got, actually who's right below has 99? 99, Daniel Carlson. This guy can kick. 99 and 80. Okay. Shocking as this is, that's that's the only position I really want to attack in free agency. I just, we have studs that we're going to have to pay. And we're going to like, I'm just foreseeing the future. This is why I'm afraid to pay two of that. Just 100% speaking. Speaking out loud. Okay. Moffe needs to be paid. Witherspoon will need to be paid. Wiggins will need to be paid. Woolen will also need to be paid. Jordan Love will need to be paid again. Evan Stewart will need to be paid. All those people are gonna need huge contracts. And when they get that good, it means they're going to deserve a huge contract. With all of those players needing money, it leaves you essentially in a situation where you gotta start making some business decisions. Actually, we have three more years with him, but like, I just worry when Wiggins wants money, when Witherspoon, Witherspoon wants a lot of money. Like all of these guys, I just have a fear of having no money. So I'd rather wait. We've done a really good job with our receivers. Tua is gonna be a decision that we have to try and figure out. I'd rather kind of wait and see how things play out. Now, obviously we have pick number 32, and we only have two picks in this entire draft, but we do have leverage and a lot of studs to move up. I think in order to get one of these top guys, you gotta be in this conversation. You gotta be like, I would say, like Dolphins, pick five, you might get a Dante Moore, but those quarterbacks are gonna fly off the board. Panthers, like Raiders, all of those guys, you need to get into the top 10 if you wanna get one of these quarterbacks. And the reason I would get one of these quarterbacks is because the way I see it, we have a lot of things figured out on this team. Is Tua gonna be able to win me five Super Bowls and make this a dynasty? Maybe not. Is Nico? Yes. I truly believe that like Nico or Dante, I could make them into the greatest quarterbacks of all time. So that's where the thinking comes. And then there's also things like, there's a lot of really good players in this draft. I'd like to get a speedy receiver. There's studs that if I keep my pick, I can probably like get one of these really good edge rushers or like some of these guys or some people who run really well. Um, 
that we can kind of talk about and figure. I know Caleb Downs is a beast as well, but there's things to talk about. We're gonna go, um, they're gonna do free agency and I'm gonna get on the phone and figure some, some things out. Okay, so the more, the more I look at this draft class, I was pondering it, okay? And then I started looking, I went down a rabbit hole, okay? Of who is Nick Harbour? Now I went and I looked up Nick Harbour and he is 18 years old, born in 2005. He ran a 4-3 and he is six foot five. And they compare him to Julio Jones. So I start looking at this guy and I start picturing, hmm, Nick Harbour with DK Metcalf. I know he's here, but I'm like, dude, that's, that's one of the greatest receivers I've ever seen in my life. Now, that all being said, the bag I would have to get, because everyone in the chat's talking about this guy. I would probably have to move up into the top five. And it would take an insane trade to do it, but that is insanity. He plays for South Carolina. He runs track. I'm gonna get on the phone. I'm gonna get on the phone. Panthers. Yo. Okay, you I'm gonna tell you what you need, and you're gonna agree or disagree with me. You don't need okay. pick four. You don't. Mm -hmm. You don't need pick four. You need players. Yep. Okay. I have players. I have lots of players that I would like to give you for that pick. Okay. Who you got? Okay. I got Tony Grimes first. I want to. Get, I want you to have Tony Grimes. What's another position that you're struggling at? Let's let's have a conversation here. Oh, your D line's bad. Yeah, D line's pretty bad too. Your safeties are pretty good. Uh huh. I don't need safeties. And with Tony Grimes, my cornerbacks are pretty good, so I don't need cornerbacks. But either. Okay. What if what if we just or D line? What if we do this? My first this year my second this year, and my first next year, and Tony Grimes. You get two first picks, you get Tony Grimes, and you get my second this year. That, that's a one-time offer, you have three seconds. Because I can't believe that I even, I probably can't even get this wait, wait, approved. Wait, wait, repeat that again, repeat that again, I wanna hear that no, again. No, time's up. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Time's up, no, it's over. Ple pleasure. I'm gonna hang up, this is called negotiation. See, now we hang up. Now he's gonna come running and be like, wait, what was, the, what was the last thing? I think this is decent. I'm giving up two firsts, a 96 speed, and a, but like, I get pick four. Now I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna lose my cards when I call him back. I knew you'd call yeah. back. What's up, TD? What the, hey, do you wanna hear the offer now? Yep. Okay, it was Tony Grimes, my first this year, my first next year, and my second round pick. You get your rebuild and you get a burner of a corner. Okay, okay. Add, add Charles Cross and you got a deal. You don't trade your left. We don't trade left tackles, dude. We don't trade them. Well, for my fourth, we do. <laughs> You're not. We don't. You Come realize that he's my left tackle. Come on, TD. He's an 86 pass protector. I need him. Yeah. People are going to say I'm getting fleeced if I do this. So, Charles Cross, Tony Grimes, I, okay, Charles Cross, last year of his deal, he'd be mad at me, and I don't even know if I could get this approved by the people upstairs, but I would do, take away my second this year, I would do Grimes, two firsts, and Charles Cross for pick number four. It's a big trade up, but I would do it. Hmm. Okay, I'm fine with that. You, you'll, you'll do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, we got a deal, boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, that didn't, that's, I can't believe I just, Charles Cross is a stud. I need a new left tackle badly. I trade two firsts, Grimes and Cross to move up 28 picks. Yeah. I know you guys hate me now. I know. People are going to hate me for that. I've, I've made some good trades recently, but to me, I... 
honestly, the more research I did on Nick Harbour, the more I just didn't care about anything. I would have given probably eight firsts for him. Like, seriously, I am so intrigued with this Nick Harbour dude. Like, six foot five and a four three. Like, if he's there at four, I'm not taking a quarterback. I'm getting DK Metcalf and DK Metcalf, and I am just scoring every. I don't need a left tackle. I'm making moves. I told you guys I'm sick of losing, and I'm going to make some moves. We lost Grimes. We lost some other people. Okay, hopefully he accepts that. Ladies and gentlemen, trade accepted. Okay, we lose our left tackle, who is on his last year. We lose our first round pick next year. We also lose our first round pick that we used last year. We get pick number four in the draft, which, okay, this is where, honestly, I have two of, like, I just can't, like, it's Nick, to me, Nick Harbour, if he's there, okay, if Nick Harbour isn't there at four, I take a QB. If Nick Harbour is, I think you have to take Nick Harbour. I don't care what anyone says, Nick Harbour is insanity. So... Nick Harbour literally is Melvin Burris. That's why I was willing to trade my left tackle. See how this draft goes. Someone also said they wanted to trade for Rourke, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, guys, honestly, this is the most, I've already had Arch Manning, I'm not taking Arch Manning. Nico, I have, but Tua just had the season of his life. The funny thing is everyone thinks I'm trading up for a quarterback, but they don't know that all I care about is Nick Harbour. They don't realize that this guy has a 4-3-3 speed or they don't watch college football and know who this guy is. But man, oh man, I think someone commented about this guy. Bro, if Chicago doesn't take, honestly, I've already had Arch Manning and Arch Manning just went. I don't want Nico because I have Tua. I traded up for one player. I traded up for one player. My new favorite player in college football. I'm trying to create DK Metcalf. Oh my gosh! Nick Harbour! South Carolina, go watch this dude. Go watch this 100 meter. I have spent the last, I, that's why I got rid of Cross. All American, I'm not messing around anymore. 100 meter specialist, 6'5", 96 feet. It's reported that this dude will run a 4-3. Holy schmoly. I can't wait. I'm a big fan. Guys, this this is generational. This is absolutely, his route running and stuff isn't that crazy. I wasn't expecting the world with this guy, but what we get is six foot five, 241 pounds, and 96 speed. I lose my tackle, I lose Grimes, and I lose two first round picks, but I gain a receiver. I could have taken Nico, and but at the end of the day, Tua Tagavola love ya. Played un unbelievably. And I'm trying to win games. I'm making moves. He may have been there, but I wasn't willing to risk it. I wanted Nick Harbour. Easy money. Holy smokes. Generational. Shut him up. Tua, you have all the weapons in the world. Let's go win 100 Super Bowls. <sighs> Beautiful. This guy's a beast. This guy might even be better than Melvin Burris. Okay, so pick two, which we said we don't have a third round pick. So you guys have to understand. This pick is really all we have in this entire draft. Now, Timmy Harmon is here, A awareness. It's not fun to use that pick on that whatsoever. Um, I think to say it's not fun is an understatement. It's, it's absolutely brutal to feel like you have to use that pick on that. Perkins is really fast. This is the only other spot that I would potentially Go, Tony Rojas, Elite Speed, 446, be awareness for Rojas. Oof. I kind of want him. Speed Rush, too. Thing about Perkins, last time I was in this position, I took Perkins and he was a run stopper. Rojas is a speed rush. Super undersized. Okay, yeah, I'm in between two players here. Let's look here as well. Baldwin, Penn. I'm definitely in between two decisions here. I'm worried about myself without alignment.
but this guy does have C run blocking, which like that's what worries me, the C run block and the C run block finesse. Terrify me. He is 6'7 though. Ugh. Six foot seven, first second, first to second round grade. I just traded Charles Cross. Tony's pretty undersized. I probably should make the business decision here and make sure that I am not absolutely in shambles on the offensive line. Tony, Timmy Hardman needed that pick. And that's like, sometimes in this game, not all picks are fun, but you know what? At the end of the day, not all picks are gonna be fun. Like this guy, six foot seven, 306 pounds, 64 speed. We needed a Charles. I just traded my left tackle. You don't, number one rule in football is you never trade your left tackle. You don't trade your first and you don't trade your first round pick last year who had 96 speed. But I broke all those rules to try and get Nick Harbour. Second round pick, we get Timmy Harmon. He's gonna be our new tackle, which we need because I honestly, Charles Cross, I have food all over me. I just had uh, supper, but Overall, I'm happy with this pick. I don't have a third. I got rid of my third last year. So we only have a fourth round pick left. So we get to pick in the fourth round. We'll see what's there, but we spent a lot on some big time pieces, but it's gonna matter, I promise. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, what a freaking waiting period that was. That was 45 minutes. Um, it felt like waiting to kind of see where we, who was gonna be around. All the players that I was most interested in are gone. I was kind of moderately interested in bringing in some type of pass rush. Um, someone who just was athletic that I could try and make a lot better, but I just don't see, like at any of these positions, I don't see any value, truly. Most of the players that I had like on my list of like, oh, this is somebody that I would definitely consider, were all gone, so. Monty Temple is a run stopper and I'm not drafting run stoppers anymore. Kevin Branch, eh, he looks horrible. James Dorsett, great speed, elite acceleration, see awareness. At least he's 6'2", but he's also a run stopper. Brandon Hazleton. I don't know anymore, dude. I'm gonna take Monty Temple. I just love the name, I love his name. 86 speed, 88 excel, hidden depth. That's uh, that's a good pick. I'm, <laughs> the fact that he's hidden is shocking. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, time to see the damage, everybody. I know Nick's a stud. Nick is, okay. <laughs> Boom, let's go. He's only 70 overall. 66 slot receiver. He's not like the highest overall, but dude, like I am, there was probably receivers with a higher overall, but none of them were 6'5", 241 pounds and 96 speed. I cannot wait. Seriously, I cannot wait. This pick was great. Timmy Harmon. Um, his build is super messed up, but it is what it is. We need a left tackle. His pass block's good. It's not gonna be Charles Cross, but he is good. Uh, Monty Temple is not great. We do get a good um, running back late. This is all about Nick Harbour. Nick Harbour is the most insane player I've ever seen in my life. I uh, I was I spent the last like 40 minutes waiting for my pick and watching Nick Harbour like run 100 meters because truly I think this is franchise legend potential. Um, okay, that's our draft. We're gonna piece everything together, but I'm I have no regrets over anything I did. Okay, so as far as my focus players, because now we actually we got to think about this because our, our regular season last year was not that great. Tua is our QB. We got DK, Evan Stewart. Like that's a that's a three receiver, just giant. I want my DBs to get better. One player that I just, I'm waiting for the moment where Devin Witherspoon becomes the GOAT. I'm just, it's not even a matter of when, it is just like, it's, it's going to happen. Um, and Nate Wiggins also is still only 23 years old. He's my first pick in the first draft. We've just drafted a lot of speed on this team. And I'm, I'm pumped about my decision to keep Tua. Part of the reason to keep Tua is because it was a cool story. I brought him in. Nobody ever shows Tua any love. I brought him in. And the fact that he's still relatively young. And all I, like with getting Tua, I can just build around Tua. I can just give Tua the greatest weapons in the world. And 
just go from there. So we'll see you guys week number one, but I am most pumped about that Nick Harbour guy, by far. Okay, season goal is simple. Um, we've made every single decision to not be flashy, but to win Super Bowls. That was the Tua decision. That was every decision we've made has been to get rings. That's all I care about, genuinely. I said at the beginning, I want this to be the best team. And I meant that more than you really understand. I want this to be one of my best franchises ever. And I needed that win. That was unreal, beautiful, love it. The team's amazing. Our defense, you build the defense first. Now our offense, I draft two receivers back to back in our offense now. We have DK <sighs> Stewart, who's gonna be one of the best slot receivers. Like our offense is insanity. I truly think we can put up numbers against these dudes and make Tua, um, Nick Harbour already has two upgrades. He's my focus player. I think we can make Tua elite like MVP caliber, not necessarily because he's the craziest quarterback and he's not gonna scramble or do anything insane, his throw power, something, but I think I can just do it because he's Tua and he's a stud. And I got the best players in the world around him. Devin Witherspoon, I'm waiting on his breakout. He might never be a superstar, but either way, he's a beast, a uh, big part of the Legion. Boy Amafe gets an upgrade, he's gonna go to an 88 overall, absolute super stud. You guys know I'm a big Boy Amafe fan. He, he was amazing in the Super Bowl. Quiet all year until like week 13 and then just started like, like it wasn't even funny. Like he was everywhere. Um, Curtis Rourke, someone's interested in. I, I, I would let him free because I feel like he deserves it. So you actually might see me get on the phone and try and shop Curtis because he has 99 throw power. It just didn't work out here. So true, true answer. It just didn't work out. Um, Starting quarterback to a tug of Aloha. Kenneth Walker out running back. Receiver DK Metcalf, Evan Stewart, and Nick Harbour. Nick Harbour is gonna be the two because I want I want Stewart kind of playing in the slot because I want those two on the outside. So every single situation where we gotta play on the outside, it's him. Evan Stewart's our kind of smaller receiver. These two are go up and get it. You can't guard us. Receivers, no offense, left tackle. Left tackle, we got a new left tackle. It's gonna be Timmy Harmon. Moderately worried for that, but thank gosh I brought back Abraham Abraham Lucas. Derek Hall is gonna start again at this side. We'll see how that goes. Boy, I'm off it. Well, uh, do I? Whatever, Monty Temple. Boy, I'm off a defensive tackle, Chris Jenkins. He was fine last year, nothing crazy. DBU keeping kind of the same thing. The only difference is um, Calvin Joseph is gonna take the spot of Grimes. I think deep down, I always knew Grimes wasn't necessarily going to be my long-term. Like I, I drafted him because I knew he was highly sought after. Like I know, I know everyone loves him. So that was a big reason why I picked him, but it was never supposed to be like, oh, Grimes. Like that, that's my guy. I just drafted him because I felt like he was the best available um, at the time that I drafted him. And I think he was because he had a lot of interest from people. So. I'm proud to say that. Barron's our user once again, best user I've ever had. Slot corner is Witherspoon. And secondly, it is going to be Joseph. Guys, I don't know. This is gonna be a movie. Just buckle up. Tua has the offense he's always dreamed of. It's showtime. It is showtime. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's dance. Okay, tough start. Tough start. I can't I can't force the ball. This is where there's gonna be oh my gosh, look at Nick Harbour though. This is where there's gonna be some growing pains of me trying to figure out like okay. Stuart, you're the best. Stuart, you're the best, and you're not you're not forgotten, Stuart. You are not forgotten. I promise you that. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Off a play action, tongue of Iloa. Good try, Nick. Okay. We're gonna relax. Don't get the like, hey, I have this new fancy player. I'm just gonna make horrible decisions. I don't want that to be me. Tua sets up to pass it. Tua dialed. Get out of there. Good job, DK. First down, fellas. First down. This run was great for us in the playoffs. That's sketchy to cut in, but it, it works. Kenneth also needs the ball. Like I think 
I lost that a little bit last year when I started just like throwing the ball 50 times a game and forgetting that Kenneth Walker is unreal. Like that, our first playoff game was won by Kenneth Walker. The playoff games were won by Kenneth Walker. Like he can just win games for us. Looking to pass to DK. Oh my God. Oof. Power to the 49ers. Power to the 49ers. Unreal play. That was a really, really, really good play. <laughs> We're screaming. Willie Beeman, I, I'm different than I was regular season last year. I, I blitz every single play now. I make like 15 adjustments and I blitz. Got him. Good dude. Are you good back there, Brock? I'm not just sitting in cover two man anymore, so. Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, division rival. Throw it. Dead accurate. Tua. From midfield, here's Tua. Harbor. Harbor! Welcome to the NFL, kid. Welcome to the NFL. I was, I was waiting to get. I didn't. Tried to force on the ball in like the first four plays. Immediately regretted that. Here's tongue of Iloa to throw. Yep. Stewart. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Playoff MVP wide receiver wise. Stewart. Underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Six five. I uh, I'm just saying it. Like that's DK Met that's two DK DK Metcalf on the same field. Like you had to do. Had to be done. You don't see that every single franchise. Seven zip. There's Purdy on first and ten. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. The Legion, baby. It's the Legion. It is the Legion. Left, Charles. They got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough to okay. downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one in. Dot. Stewart, in well case, done, Stewart. Should be, should be out here. Here we go. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Just trust him. Stewart's not the tallest. Oh, this should probably realistically be. This should be a punt. But I'm just not. I'm not in that mood right now. My read is Metcalf, Walker, and then Harbor. Okay, defense. You gotta, you gotta clutch up. That, that was a bad. That is where I'm a little overconfident and. That's not acceptable. We're not going to win games like that. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Good defense. A second down throw for Purdy. That's all right. We talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. And it's hard to defend. Here's Purdy. They'll roll him out right. Touchdown! George Kittle. Okay. Is what it is. I think he gets balled half too. Oof, oof. I would have done that differently. I would have done a lot of things differently. Slow it down. Okay, we're not actually. As much as this has been a very beautiful looking game on offense and defense, we're actually behind. So. <laughs> But we are screaming. Oh my. Why didn't you guys tell me to blitz earlier? No, and I messed up. I messed up. Thank gosh for a gross animation. Thank gosh for a disgusting animation because I absolutely messed that up. Back to throw. Purdy rolling to his right. And we're in trouble. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Nice catch, Harbor. Yeah, he's kind of got me a little cage at the moment, which I don't love considering. Go, Harbor. Way to be, Harbor. Okay. We're going to have to, like, he's not like a short yardage receiver like that. But he's showing that he can do it. Ooh, good try, Stuart. Way to start coming down with him. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. 
Don't talk about Tua. Don't talk about Tua. Don't talk about him. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Evan Stewart. Evan Stewart. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Woolen. Trying for IU, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Reek Woolen. Down the right sideline. Okay, you can be smart here, but get seven. Trust the defense. Trust the defense, but 100% we need to get seven here. Playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Heads up, heads up, Nick. Okay, this opening game, we're not seeing any, like, we're not seeing anything crazy. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. I think, I think you got to take three here. I should have ran on that third and two. Ah. You got to here. I don't think there's even a decision to be made. You, you take your points in this situation. Oh my. This is time. Time, 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 time in the pocket. He decided. Somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And you disposal. Here's first and ten now. McCaffrey. We'll get down I got no timeouts. You gotta keep that in mind. I, I have legitimately no timeouts. But I, I can He's short. Oh my gosh, he played this to the last second. That was a crazy drive he just had. Woolen, are you kidding me? Okay. Well, we got humbled week one. Yikes. Now Tua. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final Power to him. He uh he outplayed me. I made I made one bad decision kind of going for it when I probably should have punted. Um, I'm not overly worried about it. Evan Stewart had a good game. Metcalf had a good game defensively. We had three for Calvin, one for Moffat. I feel like we outplayed him. We just didn't get the win. And that's just the way it is. Oh, gosh. Okay. That's going to matter at the end of the year, too. I promise games like that will matter. But it is what it is. The show goes on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week two. Um. Okay. Week one, we got a tough week three too. Week three is the Patriots, which is no, absolutely no joke. Huh, humble. I got humbled a little bit. I got humble. I came into this season being like, oh, look at me. I'm Brett. I'm not humble. And then quickly, it was like the world was like, hey, Brett, be humble because you just lost. And that's a divisional loss. It's a big time loss. Um, the one thing I want to change is the equipment on my new receiver. Nick Harbour. I don't like the long, like, um, turf tape that he has, so I'm not a big fan of that. So I want to look at that. The other thing that I want to show you guys real quick is just the people who are going to need to be paid inev inevitably. This is a new Cardinals opponent. I don't know if he's coming back. He has someone subbing for him. I'm not 100% sure if he's going to be back or if it's going to be a different guy this year. Um, Nate Wiggins has his option. We actually have a decent amount of money and not... Like, we could afford to, uh, depending on the situation, I just can't franchise tag him again. So it would have to be something a little bit more long-term, a little bit more of a commitment. But, week two, cards, let's go. Okay, let's dance, everybody. Yep, Nick Harbour. So I, I gave him a new number. I felt like 88 um, was cool. Fun fact, I DM'd him after, and apparently he had watched the videos before. So now we follow each other on Instagram, and this that just makes everything that much more interesting. Um... But yeah, I feel like that number is better and without the turf tape is better. Get out of there, Kenneth. Go, 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 Kenneth! Come on, man! Wait, 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 McKinstry got to me, that's okay. Beautiful run right there. I just wanna make sure that I, I'm not getting too aggressive, but I still remember the fact. Dead accurate, good job, Tua. 
Yep. Just get rid of it. Get out of there, fan. Go, go. Oh my gosh. Noah. What? Noah had the worst drop ever in the playoffs. I gave up on him completely, and now I love him. What a what a turn of events. Beautiful. Seven zip. He had no business picking that. That was a laser. Honestly, that guy's credit, that was a really good read. Just not rewarded whatsoever. I like this formation a lot. Yep, take the check down. No offense. <sighs> Waited way too long for that read. Okay, Brad, you're going to have to be humble here. This this is the Noah. This will always be remembered to me as the Noah fan game. Every single big time situation, Noah fans making plays. On first down, tongue of Iloa. Stud, stud, stud. DK Metcalf up top. Way to go, DK. Two and now on first down. Throw out wide to Walker. Kenneth. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Oh my gosh, Tua, you're so good. That's where he's fun to use. Like, he's not six foot five. He's not like, but you roll out, he's gonna be absolutely dead accurate every time, and I love that. Here's Murray. Flushed out right. Oof. This guy is lost. This guy is. Absolutely in shambles against this man defense right now. Back to throw. Oh, don't don't let him don't let him don't let him cut. That's so dangerous. Like plays like that can be absolutely terrifying. But I like to just blitz these. But you don't necessarily have to blitz both sides because one thing I don't do anymore, like in this situation, you don't have to blitz both sides because it's five wide. So you just have to blitz one. It'll it'll do the exact same thing, Baron. Oof. That's not good. Got him. Oh my! No Wosu, way to go, No Wosu. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. That wasn't the read. That wasn't it. It's you. You will have plays where you make the right read. That that was not one of them. So accurate. Good throw, Tua. Here's Tua. Okay, defense, just keep stopping them, please. Just pure skill. We rose to the challenge and we didn't permit a score. That's how we were. Murray now to throw. Ah. Okay, I this could be literally part two of last game where I just can't score. How do I best utilize, maybe Harbor needs to play, I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong and how to best utilize the fact that I just traded out for a receiver that has like one reception. So it's like, I got to figure this out. These are me problems, not you problems, but I personally need to figure out how to make the fact that I just traded, I just remortgaged my house for essentially one player. Good defense. Got him. Cal Dude. Joseph, sit down. Joseph, so far, this was a Snuggie, by the way. A, a poor offensive performance by myself. But an excellent, excellent, excellent defense. This team has good DBs, so like... And he's, his pass rush is kind of stupid. Oh. 
There it is. Go, Harbor. Don't jump. Harbor, don't jump. Don't jump. That's the only thing. That's my fault. I don't know why I'm acting like you did that without being told to do it. I, I jumped, but don't jump. Harbor. Up top. It's time. He's arrived. Figure it out, Brett. If people aren't ready for it, they're not ready for it. But it's it's the Nick Harbor experience. Ooh, I shouldn't throw that. Tua. Go, Nick. Good job, Harbor. That's just a quick throw. That's a, that's a no... We're not overthinking anything, just a quick throw to him. It's going to be difficult, like, with him, Stewart, and Metcalf, that's a lot of players who need the ball, but... Oh, gosh. Murray. First and ten, here's Murray. Good job. This game's just got to end. This game, the longer this game goes on, no people will get hurt. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. This is taken in by him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. You're exactly right. That's two. That's two for Witherspoon. That's two. That's two for him. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack as a result of everyone on offense not... It got his man! Quarter apply. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Throw out wide to Walker. Kenneth, you are insane. GG's, man. Okay, that game was horrible uh, for him. That was a bad game for him. But for us... We actually we were decent. I, I wanted to get the ball to Harbor just to kind of see what we got there. But the best thing is we got sacks. And we got two picks with Devin Witherspoon. And we're back in the win column. This is not the long-term Cardinals user. We'll see the other one back. Um, he just had something going on today. So, one and one. I'm fine with that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that game was not... I don't know how to describe this. It's it's kind of... We won, but we I don't feel like a winner. That's a good way to describe it. It's we won, but I don't feel like a winner. Now, Tua, he wants 54 million. Let's just offer him a one year. Oh, wow. Okay. That was way easier than I thought. Tua, I just want to continue to make sure trade value wise, everything. I don't want to lose Tua. So I just offered him a one year deal. That way we're not like locked. If he loses his dev, if I decide to go a different direction, we're totally like all of that is completely covered. So with that trade that we did, or with that contract, he signed out one year about $40 million. Not a big deal whatsoever. I don't think in real life he would probably sign a one-year deal. I think that's the problem. Devin Witherspoon, Nate Wiggins has a game day goal. So if we can get picks for Nate Wiggins, get picks for Devin Witherspoon, um, there's gonna be some good things that come out of this. This guy is really good. Um, he won the Super Bowl year number one, I won the Super Bowl year number two. Could be someone that we see um, in the Super Bowl, if we if we make it to the Super Bowl, if he makes it to the Super Bowl, but obviously there's a long way to go. I have a ridiculous amount of staff points. I don't know why. Did I change my, like, I'm just super staff point rich right now for no reason. Oh, probably because I won the Super Bowl. I think you get a ridiculous amount. Boost man cover for cornerback safeties and strong safeties. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be insane on our team, especially. Um, this is man power moves for left. Oh, that's a good one. Power moves is a really good one because that'll apply to Boya Mafe. Hit power for D-line, that's cool. And then second level, play rec for left. Tackle, speed for linebackers you can't use. That's illegal, highly illegal. And then O-line you can use, which I might switch the coach. I might switch the coach on the offensive line, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Year number one, the Patriots went absolutely insane with Drake May. We were actually the only person to beat him that entire year. He's got Drake May up to a superstar. He's a beast. We, we kind of got to know going into this game, you're playing against someone you're going to have to put up some points against. It's not going to be an easy out. It's not going to be an easy game. And we got to show up. We got to be great. Week three, Pat's week. I'm having fun. Let's go. Oh, I had him too. I had him. I was trying to fool him. You can see that? 
He came out DB Blitz. I'm, I'm trying to fool him on the first freaking play. Oh my gosh. I came out in a, a certain defense. Well, I came out in that wing play to hit Metcalf. Metcalf burned his guy. He was open if I got that throw. Shoot. Oh my gosh, that's a book. Holy doly, that's a book. Okay, be humble, Brett. Be humble. Dang, that was brutal. I'm sorry, Tua, that I made you look bad with that. I love him! Oh my gosh! I love him. He just had his moment. That was his moment. That was his moment. Third down, everything boxed. Lob it up and make a play. 74 yards for the kid. Okay. That's why we traded up. Oh my gosh. I love this game. Yo, who are you, Riddick? Who do you think you are? Back to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That's toxic. He got that for me. Jukebox in the tight end. I know he got that for me. I just know he got that for me. Oh, you though. Tough start. Shoot. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, I might just simplify my defense against him. I feel like I'm overcomplicating it when the first time I played him, the man on man did a pretty good job. So I might go back to that. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. I love this offense. We literally have two DK Metcalfs. Like this is not this is the first time I've really seen it like in full force. But we have Essentially, two insane players. Like, DK Metcalf and DK Metcalf. On the, like, both of them. On the wide side, you can't press, you can't play cover two, you can't overthink it. We can just throw dots. Beautiful start. 14-7K. Defense, I'm going back to simplicity. We're not going to overcomplicate. I clearly can't blitz him. Because he's just going to go to that cover four. Ever, or he's going to go to trips every time I blitz him. So I am just going to, instead of overthinking, I'm going to underthink everything here. A really nicely run drive, but now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush. Looking to throw. That's a KO ability! Good job! Now back to throw. Oh, I like that defense, actually. I like I like what we did. I just hate the result. Look to throw on third and goal. Don't be stupid. That was almost stupid. Here we go on wow. Just didn't expect. He's not the type who I feel like would go to a chance play in that situation. Oh gosh. Oh no. Go Kenneth. Go Kenneth. You're so good. Be smart. Yo, this is about to be a battle. This is gonna this is about to be an absolute battle. From the gun, it's Tua. Nick Harbor, baby. Nick Harbor. It's all day. Press. Go press. Press me, dude. It's it's I promise you it's not sweet over here. Tua sets up to pass it. DK. Oh! <laughs> I love this team! Oh my gosh, we're just a team of jump ball specialists. It's beautiful out here. It really is. Okay, defense, we've sucked. We're 0 for 2, but we almost had, he had to run on a fourth down. Like, it's not like he's totally buzzing. We can stop him. In this situation, if they decide to take a shot. Bro, I, I think I suck. You got to blitz in that spot, Brett. Like, there's no... There's no prize for 
being scared. Like, no one's gonna give you a hug out here. Like, if you're scared, you're scared. That was me playing completely scared. They'll look to throw. Okay. He gets three. He might actually go for this. No, he's taking three. Okay, that's all right. I can live with that. Good half. Excellent half offensively. Got him. Fooled you. Fooled you, kid. I fooled you, bud. Oh my gosh, Brett. That's not even his row. What row was he on? Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. That's something stupid. There's something stupid about that tight end row. He's doing it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. What is, why is his tight end dancing in the rain? Oh my gosh. Like literally, he's just dancing around. Didn't follow it long enough. Give me those. Give me those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, Julian. Please, Julian, love. Okay. Defense, we got to stop. That's the Legion for you. That, that's what we do over here. Okay, now we run the ball and we try and guarantee this win. Dot. DK Metcalf. Have a day, DK. Have a day, DK. I figured right in between that cover three that there would be a spot to throw the ball. Beautiful. Okay, as long as we don't choke, we'll win this. I can't stop him to save, to save my life. Oh, my he's got a stupid little lame route combo for everything I do. Drives me a little bit crazy. This has got to be a run, I think. No. Okay, we can control our fate. He might have to go for an onside. Yeah, he's going two point. I don't think he can. He'd have threat detector on the first play. Yeah. Oh! Shut up, game! Shut up! There's no way. Woolen is an X Factor. Maybe my best player. You're telling me that's what he does in that situation. Oh, my goodness. Like, seriously, that was a... Excellent opportunity to end this entire thing with a pick there. Well, not end this entire thing, but like make it plus five. So that way a score here is plus eight. Now, if I don't get seven and I don't kill the clock. Yeah, if I don't get seven and I don't kill the clock, I am in a world of hurt. Is this seriously cover one of them? Dot. Sit down, fat. Love that. Love that play call. Love everything about that. Okay. Good play. Good play, good play, good play. He's going to use his timeouts. We really, over everything, need to prioritize here. Not The clock is out of it. Like, three points, he'll go get seven. I need to make sure I leave here with seven points. Truly. That, that's got to be the number one priority, and we do. This at least makes things difficult. What a perfect game from Tua and the squad. This, is, this has been a movie. Oh my gosh, you think you got the Legion figured out? The Legion is absolutely not not buzzing right now. Sit down. Take it to the two minute. That should be game. That's game. <sighs> GG's guys. Boom, fellas! That's a statement. Look at me. I just made a statement. That's hype. Ah, oh, I love this game. That's a hey, that's a Super Bowl champion. That was Super Bowl champion versus Super Bowl champion. That was a punch you in the face. And it was the like literally that was 
an unbelievable end just because Kenneth Walker iced it. And all my players who, like, I'm pumped about, DK, all of them, 146 for Harbour, 84 for DK. Defensively, we're not going to talk about it. But offensively, unreal performance. Tua just showed out on the biggest stage. Two and one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, QB1 check-in. Going up against the 3-0 and Chargers. Um, we're going to keep airing it out. Pete says Tua had his best game on the team so far. I still, if I got an X-Factor breakout for Tua, like, none of that's out of question. Like, we're still only a superstar with him. So that is like, that's worth noting that his potential hasn't even been fully reached at this point. And that to me is what is terrifying and what should scare you because Tua throws lasers. I don't care what anyone says, Tua, hashtag Tua throws lasers. Julian Love's had a really good year as well. Shout out to him. Um, plus one awareness, mid zone KO, deep out zone KO, and pick artist, Tariq Woolen. Uh, Desan McCullough, he would be somebody I would love nothing more than to see him elevate to a superstar. He's not the most like, okay, let me, how do I put this? Without its superstar abilities, McCullough wouldn't really be on many people's teams, but he's tall. So it's like, I still love having him out there. Nick Harbour, we're seeing it. We're, see we're, <laughs> we're seeing it early, man. That's why I went and got him for games like that where I was in trouble and I can just throw the ball up blindly. Week four, let's get it. Got him. Go up top. Way to go, fans. He scored in literally one play against us, but I don't necessarily think that is going to be how this entire game is going to go. I just think that he, he got a one play touchdown against us. But I, I think he's playing over aggressive on the outside for sure. I think Nick Harbour can win that. Yeah. Tua. Oh my gosh. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Oh, wow. That was a snucky that Wilcox just played. I threw that ball anyways because I was like, there's no chance that DK Metcalf is getting that caged by Chris Wilcox. And to my shock, he was that caged. Holy moly. That was horrible. Looking to pass. Way to go. Good job, A1. I'm dialed. 1-800, pick up the phone. I'm dialed. 7-up. Ah. Twice in a row I let that same play beat us. Good job, Julian. Okay, I don't want to get into more like shootouts like we had last time. Mark Andrews is annoying. Okay, I need to figure out what, what he's doing. We'll be all right. Nick Harbour. Way to go, Harbour. Doesn't all, like, that's the thing. It doesn't all have to be these, like, crazy downfield passes with him. Those plays work perfectly fine. Straight ahead. Second down, Tua. Dot. That's complete. Good throw. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. How do I want to play this time wise? We're dialed right now. We're making a lot of good reads. We're playing good football. How do we want to play this from a time perspective? Throwing now is Ah, that was a duck. That's that's doing too much. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. This is caught. The best of the three. You could argue. You could make the argument. I would listen to someone argue that Evan Stewart is the best receiver on this team. Going back to last year. Oh my gosh, he's amazing. I would listen. Someone starts making that argument to me. This is me. I'm listening. Kenneth, you're a stud. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. 
At what point? When will I realize? Vienna waits for you. Just cover that. Got him. Get lurked, kid. Get lurked, kid. Baron, you're the best. Baron, you are the best. Okay, this is where I, with this offense, with this team, get ball at half. Let's go see. We got two super studs when it comes to just like throwing the ball deep and going and making a play. Why don't we try and use them? Oh, gosh. Good try. Whew. Okay, he's exhausted. I'm. I have no regrets over that whatsoever. That was cool. To me, that was really, really, really cool. Got him. Yo, you gotta get out. You gotta get out. Thing is, you gotta get out. That's cool. That's cool. Everything you did was cool, Evan Stewart. You are a fan favorite, but you gotta get out of bounds, kid. You might have one on one with some of these guys here. Two and now on first down. Got him. Give me those DK Metcalf. Good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. Good job, Walker. Dude, that that's what like everything that's happening right now, with the exception of the first game, is everything I want this team to be. Everything that I think can make this team great. Good defense. Um, <laughs> came out field goal block. Good defense and the ability to come out and just like make plays on offense when it's like kind of a messy situation, but to be able to just come out and be like, "Hey, I'm just gonna throw jump balls." That's kind of this kind of reminds me of what could become the new Melvin Burris, Justin Moss type combination. If that, if, for those of you who remember that, ah, uh, that's tough. Good defense. Got him. Let's go, Nick. Good catch. Right over the middle. Laser. No way. Thank you. Give me my ball. Give me my ball back. He's gonna lose his mind. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. Oh my gosh. That's tough. That's unfortunate. On second down, it's Walker. Good run. We got seven for forty-seven. I should have one on one with Harbor here. This looks like man. Nice throw. Two is so dialed right now. It's insanity how dialed he is. Clip that, please. Clip that for Kenneth. Somebody. Just for Kenneth. He just did a triple backflip into the end zone. Um, 20 and 14. Get over here. Who got it? Somebody got I don't know who got it. Somebody did. I, I just don't know who. Let's go defense. Man, we are playing with anger. With just an attitude. We got an attitude. We have so much attitude on defense. Just beams everywhere. All, all we can see right now is just absolute beams. Looking to pass to It's unlucky. Shoot. Not that he hasn't gotten a little bit of unluckiness. Shoot, 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 shoot. Now my blanket's stuck. Dang it. Okay. I'll I'll own that was not my best decision. Dang it. It's Mark Andrews stuff. Got him. Good job, Devin Witherspoon. If I can get a good mix of interceptions with Devin Witherspoon and sacks, that is what's going to get us the superstar ability that I, I really feel like he deserves slash needs. Look at this, Julian. Oh, man. 
Herbert to throw. That is caught. Need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. He's got this to win. Here's Herbert. Nobody, I don't care about anybody as much as I care about the Desan McCullough situation. Make that guy a superstar, I don't care. That's honestly, he is the one that I care the most about. Big time win, GG's guys. Okay, GG's guys, hey, we're back. We've won three in a row. We've looked really excellent in these three games, honestly. Uh, nothing crazy for Harbor in this game. This was more fan. Harbor had two for 37. His, he had all the stats. But on defense, Boya Mafe, Desan McCullough, and Barron, both of them. I just love them both. So I love this team. Seahawks, I got you. We're we're doing this whole thing. Stretch out. Ah. Oh, move a bit. Let's go win a Super Bowl. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Rams, we I think we got a different Rams. Um this year than the Rams are always like the the owner of the first team was actually we had a lot of crazy good games but he was absolutely heated after the playoffs in that league he kind of got cheated a little bit I think it was first or second round and he quit the whole he quit the league so since then we've been trying to find like a really consistent the one last year ended up I think he made the playoffs as well he was pretty good uh, but he's gone today as well so we have a new Rams in the house. Um, as these seasons go longer, it is more difficult, but like I said, we can always find people. Baron, I've just got another call about Rourke. So I am incredible, like, I'm not ready to give up on Rourke, but I wanna see Rourke win. So someone texted me again, um, asking about him and I was like, kinda like, no. Then I was like, you know what? Like, he is a beast. In the right system, somebody could make Rourke an absolute stud. So then I'm like, Virtually, am I like hurting this guy's potential having him as a backup when he's got like all the intangibles to be a stud, you know? That's how, that's how I feel. But hey, either way, right now we're buzzing. Week five, stay alive. Let's go. Nick Harbor, good route, kid. His route running is not amazing, which is like. It does make some things a little complicated at this point, but it, it's gonna get better. That's one on one with DK. Just throw that up. <laughs> this is fun. We're back. This is old school Brett. Looking to throw Lawrence. Good play. I'm trying to take the ball away. Those turnovers, like I've considered using. Uh, well. When you have like new superstars, strip specialist is like an okay ability. But the more I learn how this particular game plays, the more I'm like, dude, Brett, you gotta get with the times. Like, you can't be out here running strip specialists. When with KOs and like I, I had to get smart. On third down, Lawrence. Flushed out right. Oh! Wiggins, why I don't well it was cool, Wiggins, but it wasn't that good. They're gonna go for it on fourth and seven. Dang, dang, dude. You dotted me. That's crazy. That was an excellent 10 out of 10 throw. Power. This is gonna have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, love that. Love that pocket. DK can make plays. Like, we can't forget, just because I have Harbor, it's not necessarily like a. I need Harbor to be the greatest player. Like, I still have DK, I still have Stewart. I don't care to be the greatest at anything. I just want to have the greatest team. I want to make this the greatest team. Oh. Durant got lucky. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Just let DK be DK. He wasn't insulted with the trade. He's like, you know what? Now they got a double team that side as well. He's getting a lot more one on ones because usually people can just double team. 24-7. That's on me. That, that, that was just thrown way, way, way late. Okay, let's play defense. Shoot! Got him. 
Wiggins is kind of having a tough day. Wiggins is kind of having a bit of a tough day. Shoot. Williams. Here's Lawrence to throw. Good defense. On second down, Tua. Nice job, Tua. Kenneth, can you make something happen? See, because he didn't score, we're still in a decent spot in this game. We're not in a great spot, but we're still in a decent spot. Oh, I hate playing Wai. Dot. Oh, Harbor, that's your worst play yet. Harbor, that's your that was a rookie play. Oh, and a needed situation too. Shoot. Okay, we need to make a quick read here. Dot. Dude, when in doubt, it's Stewart. No joke. All these, like, jump ball, maybe the other guys, but when we need a big catch, Stewart has made the plays every single time for us. This is man press. I don't know where the safeties are going. Fine, just get up and spike it. Get up and spike. Just back shoulder it. Caught him in his own. See how that outside zone, like the top in the cover two, went to DK Metcalf? As soon as he does that, it's over. Okay. Huge bounce back. Good job. That is a beautiful throw, man. Oh my gosh. That was wonderful to watch. Like that was, you don't see that a lot. That was thrown in between zones. Not even like anything lucky. That was just a perfect throw in between the zones. Wiggins, Wiggins. This is, I've never seen anyone get more burnt than Wiggins. Oh my gosh. Nakua is putting on a clinic. Dot. Good job. He's winning that route every single time. The deep ball route has not been there, but he's winning that. We gotta I wanna play aggressive because I do believe I can stop him. So I don't really care for this to be the last drive of the game or anything. Um Stewart. Oh the player we don't talk about, who maybe is the best. Wow. Harbor. Fight. That's two. Two on the season. Oh my gosh. If he goes up to superstar... GG's everybody. GG's. He's my favorite. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Go, go, Harbor. Well done, sir. Looking to pass. Tua. Throw it to the inside. Harbor. Yep. GG's, dude. GG's. Okay, let's do our let's do our stat check through this many weeks. Um, 13 touchdowns, four picks for Tua. 400 for Harbor, 250 for both of those guys. Harbor is our leader. He had one crazy good game. Joseph and Mafe, five sacks, two for Witherspoon, two for McCullough, um, none for Woolen, which is a little bit of an area of concern, but it's okay. I, I feel like it will happen. Um, after this week, if Tua is still buzzing, I will trade Rourke. I just would have to be for, like he's six foot five with 99 throw power. Like that's a legit end star development. Like I made Rourke very 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 interesting and intriguing to a lot of these guys like i think there's been three or four people dm me about him i just don't want to trade him just because but i also like if i were gonna move on at the end of the year for example and like get a new quarterback i wouldn't be going back to rourke it's kind of what i'm saying like, i don't think no matter what rourke is kind of a part of the plan which is sad because that was the entire but at the end of the day, winning's winning, and I love winning. So I felt like I I would I didn't want to waste the prime years of the best defense I've ever had throwing ducks. And I didn't. I made a move, and I'm very proud of it. Um, big time week here, Commander's Week. Then we got the Lions who beat us in the playoffs after. Let's go.
Oh, Woolen. What did I say about Woolen? I promised you guys. I was like, oh, he doesn't have an interception yet. Well, I'll see myself out. He's got an interception. Well done, sir. Rate the receivers in the comments right now. One to three. Who, who's your favorite? Who's your least favorite? I love them all. I really do. The first time they had the football wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to Woolen. See, see what I said? Do you remember what I said? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about him losing his abilities because he's the best DB in the league. So just don't worry about anything. That's two. Beautiful. Tua once again here on second and ten. Harbor. Dot. Absolute dot. Way to be. Dot. 14. And second and 10. He'll look to throw again. Aaron it out. Looking for Ridley. It's caught inside the 25. Okay, Jason Bourne. I guess. Washington. 71 yards. Oh, my gosh. Good throw. Respect. Good throw. Win streak and remember next weekend is an open week for them so that if they can get the win. Dot, nice job, Stewart. 5 for 5. See, that's we're 5. A lot of these games were like 5 for 5. Our passing stats have been amazing. Okay, watch the safeties. Trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Stewart. Way to go, Stewart. Perfect throw. You can't play man against them. Baron, yep. I don't know where you've been, what you've got, as long as you love me, who you are. Let's go, man. Another try after the first down sack. Tua. There we go. Third and goal. I pushed back a little bit, more than I'd like to in these spots. I think I want to throw this either to... Yeah, I think I got him. Stewart! It is what it is, man. It is what it is, and it is what it is. Stewart! Certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need him right now because they're trailing. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. It's a good thing we're so fast. Like, it, we are the fastest defense in the world. Okay, let's get a stop here. Good job, defense. See, that's what speed does. He has a great play. Probably should have scored, but we just have the fastest runners in the entire world on defense, and he doesn't. Oh, my gosh. Woo. That was... I don't even know who that is. Thank you. Stuart... You're the best player in the world. You're the best in the world. Okay, who do I trust more? Ah, whatever. Let's go. I'm trying to go for legacy plays. Hail Mary style. This is what it is. Okay, we're still up 20-7. to and I actually think we might even get ball at half. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. Forced out to his left. Bro, shut up. Tua's favorite target is Stewart. It's it's just, that's just who it is. Look at, are you seeing the throws that we're making right now? He's just dialed in. There we go, Harbor. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Wiggins, there it is. Wiggins, that's why we drafted you. Love him. Love him, love him. This guy's got to go. Shoot, what is the time? Oh, guys, who's this? Who's this? 
Chris Jenkins. Okay, this is a, he has been like our most, oh my gosh, my camera dies as soon as this starts. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got a, I got a break out. Um, this guy beat us in the first year. We got two really tough games coming up. The Lions and the Bucks are both no joke. Um, so we definitely got to buckle up and play some football here. He's been waiting for me a long time and he's mad, so I'm just going to play. Hey, bud. Hey, bud, that's DK. <laughs> I don't care if that's Elam, that's DK Metcalf. We'll see you in the end zone. First class flight. One way. Nope. He's short. Ah, oh, God. By literally a yard. They'll set up to throw. He's got this to Williams mm. Just barely got that throw off. Shoot, I knew the middle was open. I should have stuck with it. I I followed the running back. That's on me. That's on me. Get out of there, Fant. Get out of there, Fant. Okay, his offense. I feel like he moved, but not like I do feel like I can get one stop, so I just need to continue to play good on, on this side of the ball. Could throw Tua. Shoot. Shoot. Heads up. Three for four, 107. As I said, he's going to put up points, so we got to play equally aggressive and put up points. Dot, Stewart, well done, Stewart. Five for six, 133. DK Metcalf, don't press him. Stop it. Oh my gosh, I love this offense. This is a beautiful offense. It really is. Okay, 14-7. Third down. The guys on the defensive side of the ball, and they got there and swarmed. There's a KO there. Oh, hate that. Now back to the ground. Here's Gibbs. Damn, that's actually fine. I, I had no way to. If, if he was gonna score, I'm totally okay with it because now at least I get the ball back with a chance on offense, which has been good this year. Oh, wow. That guy played that excellent. This could actually end up hurting me. And by this, I mean, like, just the decision I made to put one of the ball here is looking like a negative one, unfortunately. Stewart, though. Stewart. Get up. Get up and snap it. Get up and snap it. Three points is fine. Three points is fine. I want to throw this to Harbor over the top. And I got him. I got him. Get dotted! Get dotted! Oh my gosh, you thought you could get away with blitzing me? It's not sweet over here. I promise you, this offense is not sweet. It's not nice and it doesn't care about you. Laser. What? What am I missing here? Who does this guy know? Oh my goodness, these are horrible reads. I'm sorry, I hate to be the one to say it. But those are not good reads. Back to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. He gets three, which is fine. I'm I, that second one for sure. That shouldn't have resulted in one guy. Julian, like he's just kind of throwing it directly at us, and it's getting it's getting old. I gotta be honest, it's it's getting really, really, really old. No, thank gosh. I was about to say. <laughs> that was gross. That was gross. I can't even deny that was gross. Oh my gosh. I thought he was on a streak. 
I would have bet everything that he was on a streak right there. Oh, that sucks. Can we please? Design that could have really, really, really helped our case here. It's the luckiest stuff with this guy every single time. Oh, it's the same garbage on those big downs. He just always seems to just run for five yards or run. It just drives me insane. Good hit. Who does this guy know? Who do you know? Who do you know? He, like, he has to know somebody. Like, the animations and stuff that he gets at times. Oh, wow. That was actually smart. I thought he was going to be the one. That was impressive. Oh, go up top. Good job, DK. How would we like to play this? His offense is good, but my defense is really good, too. I feel like you take it probably to like the two. Go. Curious what the plan should be here. Part of me thinks I want to take a little bit of the clock on the guy. Because I know he would do the same. You know, you just got to know your opponent. I saw him do the, do the same at, already. So it's like... I know he's not above taking a little bit of the clock away. I'm going to just do this, try and get it to like a minute, throw a dot, win the game. That's kind of how I'm looking at this. That was bad. That was dumb. I don't know why I did that. I thought he was in cover zero. He either was on to me or something, because he was man until that point he was man coverage. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Mm, I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. We're in trouble. One bad decision can get you into a world of trouble. I'm honestly looking for Nick Harbour here. Dot, get off my field with that horrible user. Get off my football field. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna at least we're gonna start getting some timeouts here, which now I'm totally okay with like trying to score because I think it's a difficult situation for him to drive the entire field either way. Well done, sir. I think he guessed wrong. I think he guessed wrong. He guessed wrong, kid. He 100% guessed left. Tua to harbor in one of the clutchest throws of the entire season. Okay, be smart. Back off here. Win the game. You can run. You can run with Wagman all you want. It's fine with me. It's fine with me. I got no issue with him running there. That's 100% okay. We're clutch. We're clutch. GG's, man. Nick Harbour, 4th and 20. Nick Harbour on 4th and 20. 4th and 18. His user is kind of on an island, and I know I'm going the other way. Shoo. Look at this throw by two. Shoo. 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 Okay, so under 200 yards. Did he rush for 200? What? What? That's a glitch. Oh my gosh. He rushed for 52 with his quarterback. <sighs> See myself out. That's tough. That's okay. Okay. Unreal win there. That, that one mattered to me just because of the fact um, we had lost to that guy last year one playoffs.
And I think if it wasn't for that guy, I think there was a chance we could have made the Super Bowl. That could have that game against him could have changed Rourke's career completely. And I truly believe that. Let's go do a stat check. 21 touchdowns, five picks. Barely ran the ball, but not bad. Harbor, 561. I want to have 3,000 yard receivers. That's that's the goal. Um, all three of them are going crazy. Calvin Joseph, Boyamafe, Woolen, and Witherspoon has sacks and this. Um, McCullough has been really good as well. Okay, big time week here. This guy is usually better than he's struggling with this particular team he's up. He's actually, he's not, he's not a bad player. I've seen him in the Super Bowl before, so he's just having a tough go with this Bucks team. I think I can man press him. Um, Devin Witherspoon, plus two awareness, plus two zone coverage, etc. Ooh, we got lots of upgrades, actually. Nick Harbour is going to go up to a 75, which means we're about to find out, is Nick Harbour a superstar or not? If there's one at the end, he is not, which totally, I don't care. I will make him a superstar. Okay, big time week. Let's get it. Tua sets up to pass it. Dot. Nice catch, DK. That play's working. When people blitz, it's really difficult for them to blitz and cover that. It's also difficult for them to play these kind of like, see how he's pressed on Nick Harbour? This is now man press on the outside. And like, you just can't, you're not gonna win that. De what? Talk about a bailout, really? Really? No way, that's insane, that is insane. I don't like that read from me either. Even though that could have been successful, it probably shouldn't have been. Tua, you don't have really a right to be too mad about that. That was that's more on me than anybody else. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Thought. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Stuart is so good. He's so good. He really is so good. Nope, that's tough, Baker. That's tough, Baker. I mean, actually, I thought he had that for sure. It looked like there was a ridiculous amount of running room, but sucks to suck. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet. He's got to go in front of him. Stewart. Don't rage pause. You that was a I clicked on. Don't act like you got cheated. I clicked on. Yeah, he's what's on us. He's blitzing us. You gotta just, you gotta make, sometimes you gotta ad lib. That's not how that route's supposed to be thrown, even. That's not even how that route's supposed to be thrown. We had to ad lib, I had to throw it on time. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Here's Tua. He's on his line. He's on his line. Oh, Harbor. He needed that. Shoot, that, I thought that was a good read. No doubt. Who else would you rather? Who does Stewart remind you guys of? Like, give me a pro player comp. Six foot, catches everything. Not the fastest guy in the world, but just the best. I'm trying to think of a good comp for him right now. Yeah, get Moss, kid. It's not sweet over here. Let's go. I, oh, I shouldn't have blitzed. I shouldn't have blitzed to that extent. That was too much. Yeah, there's level. Like, you can't just blitz every time. I have to find the happy medium here. Oh, no. Go. That, this could be a four-point lead just because he's stubborn and tried to go for two. This could easily be a four-point lead. That, he's fast. Hey, I'll take a four-point lead. Three goes plus seven. Cool with that. Mm. It's telling me Daniel Carlson can kick this. 
Oh my gosh, I think he... I have 99 kick power. I think Carlson can kick this. Do it! Time stamp that! Oh my gosh. That is a kicking dot. Time stamp that. Oh my gosh, there has to be some special teams people out there. That's one of the best kicks I've ever seen. That was actually intelligent what he did. Uh, he, he picked up on it. I said, don't worry about Woolen. New documentary, Netflix, don't worry about Woolen. Give me those. Good job, Woolen. Are you gonna please don't quit? He's not gonna quit. Good. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. Ready to go. Looking to pass to him. Good job, Stuart. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Got him. GG's, dude. Bye bye. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who got is I bet that's DK? Would be, no, Woolen. Had an interception, a forced fumble, and a touchdown. That is all in one game. Let's get an updated look at his stats, because his stats have started to look very, very, very impressive. Same with Tua. Tua's only thrown one interception on the season. Um, he, he now has four. So we went from zero, absolutely no stats, to being an absolute beast. Tua is sixth in the MVP voting. Um, NFC offense player, the defense player, Nick Harbour's number one on that we should be good um going up against the two and sixers i don't really know what to expect that much from this guy um we have the cowboys and giants kind of to follow but i'm not 100 percent sure what this guy runs what he does um i guess that's why we play the game to try and figure that out but um i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing i don't really want to overcomplicate things kenneth walker is a beast all these guys are playing really 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 good football so okay ladies and gentlemen Currently, we're in the lead. The 49ers are second in the division. The Cardinals have slipped to three and five. Let's get it. Tua going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Tua, that's crazy. Tua, that is crazy. Good job, Tua. Now Tua. Now the pressure. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Good defense. Third down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Half of the season, seven and one is the record at the midway point. And in terms of what yep. Evan Stewart again. Stewart's making his case for the best receiver in the entire NFL, I would say, at this point. I don't know if I've ever had a receiving core quite like what we have on this team. Like, truly. I think all three of these guys are insane. Good job, Tua. Yep, got him again. Go, Evan! First down. As soon as they play man on man, he's exactly who I'm looking to. Like, I, I don't even question. As soon as it's man on man. I love him. I get like Stewart's the best slot receiver we've ever had. He's open to I don't think he's had a drop all season. He's caught every ball. They'll look to throw again. He is he is not like sometimes some defenses against not to say this guy's an amateur player, but like you can really see how good a defense is against someone who's like running around like this. Try and throw for it here. 
second down, it's Walker. First down, yep. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And this will be caught by That's crazy. They're indeed going for it as they look to Baron got him again. Good job. How many does Baron? I think only had that that might be my fourth with him. After the turnover, it's Tua. Oh my god. It's Jason Bourne. It's Jason Bourne! That's the best. Tua. Tug of La Love ya. That was disgusting. That was actually it look at the lob on that. Oh gosh. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, he threw it right at Baron again. Oh, this guy is a hurting unit. This guy needs a hug. If we play this whole game, we might have this might be a breakout type. <laughs> you just hey man, let we let's play it out. This is when you say, yep, let's let's play the whole thing. Having a lot of fun. That's crazy. Tua is dialed. Tua, oh, Brad, don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Go in the end zone. Tua is absolutely dialed. They'll look to throw. Good job, Witherspoon. This guy couldn't throw ice in a cup. He really couldn't. Holy, this is one of the worst. This is a, this is a tough game. Good job, Stuart. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Oh my gosh, that was back shoulder. That was back shoulder. GG's man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yikes! That was a dumpster fire for this dude. Evan Stewart. There's so many legends from this franchise already. Like, there's so many legends and it's just beginning. Um like just a lot of fun good players on this that's like Stewart is leading the team he's almost at a thousand yards he could go back to back crazy seasons and he had the one-handed catch in the playoffs last year which was insanity um 735 eight touchdowns he's kind of going crazy this year he really is he does he doesn't drop anything Nick Harbour DK Metcalf both like all of these guys there's a chance we could have three receivers over a thousand yards which would be kind of insane. Baron, I want to talk about Baron because he was drafted in the first draft that I did. This is his third year and four picks this year, okay? Still hasn't got a breakout game. It just doesn't make sense to me. Eight, six, and four. Like this guy's a legend. We just don't know it yet. GG's dude. Okay, so currently there is no Cowboys user. So this is going to be our first force win of the season. Um, we get a challenge with Nick Harbour in this game as well um just to kind of see what you can do he gets 2500 xp for challenging i'm glad i haven't like i know a complaint of you guys was when i would get a new receiver and then i would just throw the ball like 150,000 times um to that same receiver i'm trying to make sure that the old receivers like evan and all these guys still get the ball even though so i'm i'm trying thanks for your feedback okay so ladies and gentlemen in the force one this is why i hate force one sometimes two picks um kenneth had a crazy game Romo Dunsey, Nick Harbour had a good game. Three touchdowns for Noah Fant. Fant's actually quietly having, I think, his best year so far. I think this, yeah, it probably is my best year. Holy moly. Okay, these, I can't. Can never afford to worry about these enough. But they are gettable, so I'm going to try my best in this game. But they, the issue is they're really difficult to get. That's the thing. They are 100% difficult to get um because you need four touchdowns or 200 both of which the nice thing is in the red zone you can like pass and then just run the ball in the red zone if you're going to score a lot of points but it kind of goes a little bit both ways it's not i haven't had a ton of success blake corum i got it with once um but that was throwing a lot of angle routes i think you have to throw a ridiculous amount of angle routes if you're going to make it happen uh, oh my gosh guys Drop a like when you see it. Boy, I'm off it. We waited. 
Man, oh man, we waited for this. Man, oh man, we waited for this. Boy, I'm off it. officially has edge threat and the best abilities in the game. More to come. If I can get him inside stuff, Boy Amafe has been a great story. First breakout of the entire series, it was like week three or something. He just went insane at the beginning, which totally took everyone by surprise. Okay, week 12, let's get it. I love that guy. I love him. I love Desan. Desan is maybe my favorite player. Okay, so we need four touchdowns with Kenneth in order to get Kenneth Walker to be a superstar. I want to try angle ropes as the first thing. To kind of make this happen, we're going to run a lot of just like shoo, angles. Cross the middle, everywhere, angles. Here's to throw. The last play. Fight! Nice oh, gosh, it's Kenneth, it's you... Oh, you got to fight. That's got to be a touchdown. Good one. I, come to think of it, him as an X-Factor, we get the added ability which I could put on like reach for it. He'd, he'd get an extra ability and the like, yeah, no, it's, it's worth it. We're, we're going to fight for this breakout. Dude, we are kind of insane. Like, I hate to say our defense, like I can blitz. Our coverage is the best in the league. Like it's not, it's so far from sweet out here like it's amazing go that's crazy do you see that animation he literally caught that and then the other guy like whoa went all wonky and i i caught it nice baron these last two games have been absolutely a snuggy, and not say that I'm playing. I'm not playing great teams. I want to make that very clear. These aren't top five teams that we're playing, but like either way, this is dominant. This is really, really, really good. Let's go, Harbor. Go Harbor. Good job, Harbor. Tua, you're crazy for that. Evan, get up, Evan. Evan! Oh, gosh. Nice. Nice, Calvin Joseph. Nice. 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 They look to throw now on first down. Try to lay one up deep. I think that's one. Yep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time. Now Tua. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. His arm strength is underrated. That was a really good throw. Nice catch. Nice catch, Harbor. I'm actually really impressed that he just got that ball. I'm not going to lie. That was a really, really, really awkward throw. No. Trying to get him X-Factor. I think I have two touchdowns. At this point, we have two touchdowns against him, so we're not far off what we need. Just throw a dot. Don't overthink it. Just throw a dot. Back to throw now on second and ten. That ball caught down to the ten. That couple of touchdown passes about time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. There we go. How's this? How's this? Oh my gosh! You're, I said it. I told him to do it. Time. Time, time, time. Time out. Time out. Time out. Harbor, that's crazy. Harbor, that was insane. That might be his best play. 
That might be one of his best plays so far. Giants are getting booed. Holy moly. Shoot, that was a bad read. It's not that this guy hasn't made his fair share of bad reads, but that was a bad read. Okay, I need the Kenneth break badly. Got him again. Good job, Reed. Okay, we got a game again. Shoot, he's actually back in the. Nice job, way to go up. He's elevating. Like as a player, we're starting to see like, okay, Harbor is going to be insane here. I just threw it at him. <laughs> Kenneth Walker the third. Okay, so our peer conceded the game. I think I have a very good case to make that even though he conceded that if he didn't concede that I would have got the breakout. I don't actually think now that I got it, but I think I have a very good case to make that I would have got it. I had one touchdown there and 130 and two touchdowns there. I think, see, I'm not gonna get it because the game ended early, but I, I think I have a case to say that I deserve that. Yeah, no, Kenneth Walker is getting his breakout. If that game goes fully, I easily could have gotten one more touchdown. So I'm better get that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce the most deserving new X Factor we have ever had, Kenneth Walker. The third, the heart and soul of this team, honestly, in the first season, he carried us completely. I think I want to go Energizer on him. So that way, when he jukes, it replenishes. Shout out to the comments for telling me about that. I know I'm acting like, oh, I just came up with that on my own. I did not. Someone let me know. Don't freak out. If this is who I think it is, don't freak out. If it's who I think it is, this team has GOAT potential. Oh my God. Guys, the more this team goes, the more I'm like, let's draft a quarterback, a good one. Let's save the money. Let's get rid of Tua because if, if our team is this good, we will not be able to pay our quarterback $50 million a year. So it's like, we will lose all of these guys. And that's what I'm thinking. Like, Seriously, the people, how good this is going. At this given point, I can't afford a $50 million quarterback. So we may have to sell Tua for assets. And I'm not saying that that's what I'm gonna do yet. I don't, I don't even know if that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think it is. All I'm saying is like, this is kind of insane what's going on right now. This is not like a normal franchise. I've done a lot of these. I would say this is the most the best one has gone in a very long time. So 11 and 0 versus 10 and 1, I think we're currently the number one seed on this side. Um, oh, the two seed, but we get a chance to play the Eagles. Okay, let's go. Okay, th this game matters to me, guys. This game definitely matters to me. Good job, Desan McCullough's there. Didn't get the breakup that I thought we might, um, but he's been everywhere lately, which has been fun to watch. Tell me, Woolen, ego-wise, Woolen, I want you to tell me you didn't just get burnt. Because if you, I just, tell me, lie to me. There's no way he just got burnt. If, if, if he's getting burnt, we're in trouble. Yeah, no, I was about to say, <laughs> it's not sweet, dude. Happened once, don't try again. I'm going man press, but I'm ready. I'm not... I'm not just man pressing because I'm man pressing because I have the best DB in the game. So this is another one. Now, okay. I need... 
Go, Nick. <laughs> Shut up! No! You can't write. Okay, franchises like this, you just can't write. Honestly, they don't make sense. It's not. It, nothing makes sense. Like, he just jukes somebody out, gets a stiff arm touchdown on the first play of his break. I just need a dollar fifty with him. So I'll throw, I'll throw it to him every single play, if I have to. Guys, this is a movie. This is truly a freaking movie. Let's go, seven zip. That's all right. Okay, we got to either use her that or get back to that. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is actually insane. That's a, I respect that. I respect that a lot. Beautiful throw. Like, that was unreal. Okay. I need these. He's got KOs in a lot of these places. Thing is, I only need three touchdowns with Nick Harbour, so I don't have to really focus 100% of my energy on the 150. The 150 can just be part of it. The main thing could be the three touchdowns. That's which would be amazing. Oh, Chris Jones is a problem. Dude. Can we block him? What are we? What am I missing here? Why are we un totally unable to block Jones? Like that's it's like three plays in a row where I felt like we didn't even nobody even like touched him on those plays. Is he screaming at me or what? Dude, Harbor, you're a beast for that. You are a beast for that. Oh my god. Dot, let's go, Stewart. Don't fumble, don't fumble, don't fumble. Good job. Through that, just. Partially, that was not a good read, I would say. Kind of not good. Worked out. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that would be for him. It's a good amount of yards. I can promise you that. I just don't know how many it is. It's 120 yards. Okay, so he is... Harbor is 30 away and two touchdowns away from, from getting his breakout. Tua. Tua, you're insane! What did I just... Oh my gosh, chair? What? I don't know what just happened. Nope. Fourth down. We're screaming at Pat. We have been screaming at Pat this entire game, and I don't intend on stopping screaming at Patrick. Send the whole team. Send the whole team. <laughs> Not sweet, Kansas City. I promise you, it's not sweet over here. Good defense. On second down, Tua. Tua. Laser. So, I think, honestly, no matter what, I believe that I will get the breakout with Harbor. I'm, like, quite certain of that fact. So, I'm not really wanting to force the ball to him because this game is just, this game isn't just important because of that. It's, it, this game is important because it's important. Standings wise, it's important for everything. Tua. Timeout. 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 I have no timeout. So, whatever you do, it just has to hit the end zone. That's. I would argue. I think I would throw the challenge flag. If this was the NFL, I'm pretty sure I'm throwing the challenge flag there because I think, personally, personally, I think that that would have been a call. Oh, gosh. Tua, you're just different, man. On the money, life is funny. Roll out left. Damn. Lost my run. But I think we get ball at half. And it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. 
Ah. Thing is, I'm trying to get the ball to Harbor, but then I'm also more importantly trying to win. Okay, we might we might go the speed dig here. We might go the speed dig route. I think it's. What would he do if I did this? Watch the adjustments. See if his adjustments change when this happens. Okay, okay. that's fine. That's fine. Okay, this drive needs to be a success. We can't afford to let this get... Oh, I just want my yards! <sighs> Don't lose this, Brent. Don't lose this. Good job, Stuart. I thought Stuart was going to score there. Okay, at least let's guarantee a field goal. Even if I don't, even though I'm not getting seven, I just, I honestly, I can't risk losing this game. You can't risk a couple really bad drives and then giving up a lead like this. Dot. I just don't know how many harbors at. Like, how much do I risk? I don't... I think I run here. I think I just try and secure the seven. Secure the points 100%. Worry about the breakout after. Okay. Up two scores again. We can relax. That way, next drive, I can just try and force feed Nick Harbour. And I, I truly think he's like 15 yards away. I don't want this to be Percy Jackson, too, where I miss it by like a yard. Ah, uh, he threw it right on time. Okay, this is this is gonna be actually a little bit nerve wracking. I I don't think I'm as close as I want to be to the breakout. He's short though, and I can't really risk everything. I think he's on to me. He's really been guarding Nick Harbor, so I'm worried he's on to that. We gotta go for it though. Oh gosh. How short am I? I don't, I don't even know. I you can't lose because of a breakout, but you you just can't deny the importance of this breakout. Like, I think that's the thing I'm struggling with. I can't deny. That this breakout would do a time. Can he catch it? And he does. That's that's gotta be it. If that's not enough, I don't care. I honestly, I am convinced that that should be enough. And he just switched to cover zero, so I might have a touchdown here to just seal it. Yeah, he switched to cover zero. Ladies and gentlemen, you're new. Oh my gosh. I think I gotta take the points. I think I gotta take the points here. Shoot! I'm assuming he had to have gotten it on that play. I just, there's no way he didn't. I don't think I even hit that. Okay. Play man up, fruity. Play prevent. Oh my gosh, Brett! You literally could lose this game because you were trying to get a breakout. Oh my gosh. And as a result, it's going to keep him within one score. Yeah, and that looked to be good the whole way. That is a big break here in the fourth quarter. Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. Mahomes will throw. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. Better, I better get the break out if I lose this. Oh my gosh, I better get the breakout if I so if I lose this, I better get this breakout. Oh my gosh. Okay. Absolutely humiliating. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Okay, we lose. That's the worst loss I've ever seen in my life. 
I literally had the game won, and I, I just didn't know if I had enough yards for the breakout, and I had two more than I needed. <sighs> and I lose on the last play because I suck. Oh my gosh. Okay. Honestly, it's going to come down to this Eagles game. Eagles and the TSAB game are going to determine the number one seed and stuff like that. This is still a win in my book. It just sucks. I didn't, it honestly was the Percy Jackson thing. I didn't want to risk. Oh my gosh. That's awesome, but ruined because I would, didn't even have to do it. I just didn't have my paws anymore. I didn't have my paws. Okay, let's at least celebrate what we can celebrate. Harbor gets an upgrade. Um, what are, yeah, my, he gets matchup nightmare, which is amazing. I'm sick. The Rams aren't here. We'll see you guys against the Eagles. I am so sorry. That was horrible. Okay, we got another breakout receiver. I don't even know who this, this is. We won our force win, 52. What was the score in this? 52 to 14. We won six touchdowns for Tua, 144. Evan Stewart might have another breakout, honestly. Defensively, three sacks for Temple, one for McCullough, and one pick for Witherspoon. I can't believe what I just did. I can't believe how dumb what I just did was. I don't think I'll ever quite totally get over it, especially because the Eagles are somehow undefeated. You see me last coach making you call those plays. I can't really focus on this. I can try to get Evan Stewart X Factor, but it can't be my number one. My number one priority has to be to win this game. Um, this game matters for a lot of way reasons. It matters for seeding, it matters for pretty much everything. And I just ruined a lot of my chances with one horrible L that I had no business taking. But long-term, hopefully we'll thank ourselves that Nick Harbour did end up getting abilities. So, oh, our offense is disgusting now. This is the best offense I've had all year. Seriously, it's the best offense I've had. I'm just too upset to do any more talking. This is a huge game. If I win and he can lose another game and I can win out, I could potentially get the one seed. The problem is his schedule has been, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even like, he does. I don't think he has an overly tough schedule, um, but we'll see. Straight ahead, Walker. <laughs> Kenneth Walker, the third. Good job, Kenneth. Love you, Kenneth Walker. Okay, now we play defense. That made offense incredibly, incredibly easy. So now we just come out, play a little defense. Oh my. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Here's Hurts to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. And this is caught inside. Nope. 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 There's no way. Fourth down. No, sir. Good stop. Okay. So far, we've done our job, everybody. So far, we've done our job. Keep in mind, Evan's the one who needs the yards for the breakout. So the more, the more we can get the ball to Evan the better because he's the one who has the potential for all the like really 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 cool things to happen from the gun it's Tua he's gonna float this one deep right side that's crazy I'm shook by that who's that what's Ringo's speed Ninety-five. Dang. Okay, I thought for sure we. I should have maybe looked. I should have looked Metcalf. That's on me. Give me those. Oh my. Oh my. Good play. That was excellent. Good job. Good job, Nuosu. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. Wide open receiver. 
Here's a quick throw to Higgins out wide. And that... But first down, Hurts. Goes with the out route and completes it to Swift. They'll look to throw again. Oh my, Woolen. Holy doly, Woolen, that's horrible. Okay, we got a game. Good defense. Time. Okay, we should realistically be able to get minimum, I would say, a field goal here. I'm almost certain he's just sitting in cover too. So dumb. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's left points in the world. I don't know. I thought I had DK. I should have just taken my corner. I think I'm sure the corner was wide open. They look to throw now on first down. He's gonna get that to Swift underneath. Second down. Here's Hertz. There goes a deep ball in zone. <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. Multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Nice catch. Yeah, we just got to get seven here. As quick as we can, we got to get seven here. Yeah, we'll take it right back. We'll take it right back. Okay, let's go get a stop. Please, let's go get a stop. No! Oh my gosh. There's no way. Oh my gosh. On first and ten at Swift. Look at this. Metal on the field. A breakaway. Okay, money drive, everybody. Money drive on me, money drive on three. Offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Okay, we'll play ball. We may as well kick it to him, or we can onside it, or we can try and play defense. Oh, gosh. Do we go for the onside? He, he can clock it probably realistically either way. Well, if I'm being honest, my gut tells me to onside kick this, but then he's got the three no matter what. He can still easily clock the entire game. Oh, we're going to go onside. I, I feel like it gives me the best chance. Who got it? Kinda, you, that's the call. You have you have to make that call in that spot. Legitimately, there's no other decision in my mind that you can make. Because... <sighs> Woolen. Woolen is so bad for that. Okay, I think what we have to do is make this. No matter what, this has to be the very last drive. Like, there's no... <laughs> there's no discussing this even. This has to be the final drive of the entire game. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Here's Tua. Walker now on first and ten. Just keep her it up. Now Tua. Over the middle, it's complete now. Tua. Catch is made. Oh my, we got a game. At least I want him to, no matter what, have to use those timers. Okay, whatever. 26 seconds, we'll try and play defense for three plays. Like, try and play defense, hope that you can somehow force a ridiculous pick or something. That's, that's really the only way we can do this. Here's Hurts to throw. Dang, he just caught that. 
That's crazy. Holy moly, that's crazy. I can't believe he just caught that. That was that was a good throw. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Good kick. Oh, my gosh. Cheat me. Oh, my gosh. No. Oh. GG, that was a crazy game. That was a crazy game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, two game losing. That was a bit of a tough game. Um, at this point, we are the number two seed, but we got a bit of a schedule um, remaining. We got to play the 49ers next week, then we got to play the Cardinals. There's definitely no easy games, no easy outs in this league. Um, and it's going to be interesting kind of to see how this goes. We got to play TSAP now, who's having a bit of a rough year. Um, his team's not very good though. It's definitely nothing that he. Well, his team's not not bad. Um, Baron gets an upgrade. He's gonna go up to an 82 overall. Plus one agility. Plus one tackling. Desan McCullough. Dallas Gant. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, three weeks to play. Let's get it. Go. Oh, come on, Walker. We need this, guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. We really, 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 really need this win right now. Um, given everything, just to like, lost a couple games in a row. Momentum-wise, I think this would go a long way. I wouldn't be surprised defensively. They change up coverages a bit more than usual to try and combat what they expect. Good job, Harbor. Where to be, Harbor? From midfield, here's Tua. Nice catch. Good job, sir. From the gun, it's Tua. And his throw here's incomplete. Oh, man. At some point, I need Fan to catch these. Tua to throw again. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, gosh. Got him. They're going to try and throw. And it's going to be back. Good defense. From the one, Walker. He always has crazy good run defense in these situations. Unfortunately, he also sailed it over his intended target, and that doesn't work out well either. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot. I just don't think I can risk getting no points. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some. The, the thing is, though, if I don't get it, I leave him on the, the one yard line, which is nice. The two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Yeah, that's, I think that's why you go for that because even if you don't, you leave him on the one yard line with a lot of room, like with, and he's in trouble in that situation. So I, that is how I justify that. Second and six. Got his from the midfield strike. They'll look to throw on second down. Williams. Good defense. They're gonna look to throw. Zone there, fourth down. I imagine, I imagine he's gonna go for this. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good job, Wiggins. Okay, he does get ball at half here. Second down, Tua. And that'll be incomplete. We need a first down. Even if it doesn't get me much, I need a first down here. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. They'll throw now on the final play. 
Guys, I can just say that's excellent defense. Excellent, excellent, excellent defense. Um, but our offense sucks. If we can get seven, we can probably win. We got to run the ball. We got to be smart. But that was a great half. On at least this side of the ball, that was a great half. Oh, my. No. What? Oh, my gosh. I blitz. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Past and seven to keep this drive moving. Oh, that's such a book, too. I promise that's a book. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he they'll set up a throw. Bro. Oh my goodness. No. No. And this offensive line is really hunkered down and establish themselves. Now this is where they say, "Put the game on our shoulders. We'll lead the way." Right? No doubt about it. Don't fumble. Just don't fumble. If you don't fumble, there's a very good chance we can win this game. Back to throw is to it. He completes this to Walker, and this is going to be another. It's going to make it tough on him at least. I don't. I don't know if that's the entire win. Bro. <sighs> okay, GG's, I guess. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week number 17. <sighs> that was a big time. I, I just didn't like the losing streak that we were on whatsoever. <laughs> that was that was getting a little bit out of hand. We had lost, I guess, two games in a row. One of which I feel like against the Chiefs was bad. Against both one seeds, and I feel like we definitely could have won both games, but at the end of the day, we didn't. Uh, we got to play the 49ers, the guy who famously traded us to a tug of a la love ya. Um, and what was a blockbuster that you wouldn't have known at the time that essentially we won a Super Bowl with. Uh, it's crazy how the world works sometimes because this guy is the one who signed him and then Purdy got X Factor and he was like, oh, I guess I don't need Tua. And then I was like, hey, you don't want to pay Tua. I'll I'll pay Tua $50 million. Boom. The rest is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Zach Charbonnet. Love him. Week 17, uh, we got them and the Cardinals left. Two games. If we can end 15-3, and three, I'd be happy with that. That's complete out left to IU. Mm. to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they that's crazy. Oh, okay. What did I settle on was good defense against this guy? I feel like I figured something out. It just took me the entirety of the game. There we go. I feel like maybe just more zone looks. I think I got a little blitz happy. If, if I remember, if my memory serves me correct, it was the first game of the year. I think I got really, really, really blitz happy is what happened. Purdy now on second down. Here's Purdy. I'm just screaming in those spots. I'm sick of sitting around in those like big time situations. I'm just gonna start blitzing everybody on my team. That's precisely what we did. Good job, Harbor. First down. Tua gonna throw. Dot. Good throw. Thing is, the one seed is definitely out of question right now. The one seed is just, it's not going to be an option. I don't think the Eagles has lost yet. Um, but the two seed is very much in question. That, that's what I'm fighting for right now is I want the number two seed. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And this time he's got the hook. They're going for it. Here's two with it. Oh, what? Stewart throw got all messed up. Oh. He was on and in, I think. The sad thing is, I think he was open. I really, really, really do think he was open. Good job, Desan. Oh. McCullough, if you've actually watched the season, 
100% deserves some type of ratings boost. If, if you've watched it, because he's been elite. This this opponent, like, how do, to describe him, I never feel like he's good, but we always have good games, and I always struggle to score against him. Will and that better be a pick six? I would say that better. You got to score because he's really good in the red zone. See what I mean? Like, I can't do anything in the red zone against him. Like, it's the best thing he does is this red zone defense. And I just don't... I, the best thing I can do is just try and clock a little bit. Oh, my gosh. But I can't move. I can't move. It's just simple. I can't move against him in the red zone. Like, Woolen needed to score. I don't know, man. We need big plays, whatever. I think our defense is good, but this is embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing on offense right now. Purdy looking to throw. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. He's to the 15. Touchdown, That's not the worst thing I've seen today. And we'll see these two teams go to the locker. Throw a beam. Throw a beam. Get three. Even three helps a ton. I don't know. I do think, crazy enough, I think he gets ball at half. Which just goes to show how deceptively, annoyingly decent this guy is. No. I knew you'd go for him. Time. Two and now on first down. It's fine, okay? If he caught that, it's an easy field goal because my field goal kicking has been less than impressive this season. So I was trying to <laughs> was trying to make this a chip shot, but yikes. Carlson should have that. Yeah. Okay, I think he gets ball in half. This is insane, but we're 0 for 2 at getting touchdowns in the red zone, so it's what I deserve at this point. We did get it. We did it. I, I didn't think we got ball at half, so this is a pleasant surprise that we do, and that means I, I want to play aggressive here and score on a big play, like a big, like, commanding, shut em up type play with a broken tackle because every time we're within the five-yard line, I may as well not even show up. Like, seriously, he's got my number inside the five. Like, I can't move, so. Just throw to your best receiver. Shot. Good throw, Tua. Needed it. Would be lying if I said I didn't need. Just as a confidence thing, I feel like I needed that. It's a bag. On first down, it's Purdy. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Now Purdy. Throw for it. And he's got it. The can like my, what's my two point conversion percentage? Is it is it zero? I think it did. I think I don't remember the last time I stopped somebody. In those, I I can't stop anybody. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. He throws to us. Don't fumble. He's trying to take the ball. I think the move is here to make this the last possession of the game. If possible, run the ball, give it to Kenneth, make it make it the end. These two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They've got things rolling on this drive. They run again with Walker. Throwing to a Win, Harbor. Just win. Win, 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 win. That's crazy. That's crazy. I shouldn't have done it, but that's crazy. I, you can't take away greatness trying to be weird and kill a clock. You just got to let greatness be greatness. Oh, my gosh. 6'6 six, six with that speed is crazy. 
Way to go, Witherspoon. Dude, he's got enough sacks this year. I honestly think if anyone were to get a cool kind of upgrade in the offseason, it better be him. Oh, I told you this guy has nine lives. He has nine lives. I promise you he does. I just don't want him to get any play, like any huge big play down the field easy. So I'm just, I'm screaming at him every single play. To throw is Purdy. Finding Samuel. Purdy to throw. And that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Uchenna Nuosu. GG's. He's got no timeout, so that, that ends it. I'd rather take a knee than risk anything at this point. Um, he gets the ball back, gets an onside kick. Take a knee. GG's, guys. And the show goes on. Unfortunately, the Eagles went crazy. Um, so we're not going to get the one seed, but I'm proud of that game. I'm proud of how we battled. Even though there were some ups and downs, we battled and we won. That's playoff football. Okay, so with that win, I want to do a stat check. We currently are lined up to play Atlanta in round number one. Atlanta is the number seven seed. In the playoffs as it stands, Tua, wow. We're going to have three 1,000-yard receivers. I don't think that's happened a lot in the NFL. Calvin Joseph, Boya Mafe, eight for one, four and four for him. Baron, great year. Honestly, what a season. Seriously, what I think is two of the MVP. How? That's the question. Like, how is he not the MVP? Dude is playing out of his mind. 50 touchdowns. Okay, we got one week left before the playoffs. It's time to lock in. It's time to figure things out. It's time to get wins. All I care about is wins. Truly, truly, truly. End the season here on a high note. Get our confidence up because the job is not done. Way Mafe, well done, sir. That's edge threat. When you see that and he kind of gets that really quick animation when they try and roll out that, I'm pretty sure that's edge threat. Good job, Nick. Now Tua. Throw out wide to Walker. Up the middle they run. It's Good start. Okay. Be ready, man. Playoffs are coming. The playoffs are coming. Murray gonna throw. God. Mafe. Oh my boy of Mafe. Good job. Get out of there, Stuart. Again, they will throw it with Tyler. Yep. He completes this to Walker. And down in one. Go into the air. Tug of Ilo. Throw it pass lead outside. Completes it to Fan on the right side. And there. Here's Tug of Ilo to throw. And he comes back with one complete. Walker now in first and ten. And a minute. Tua now, third and goal. Touchdown. No Touchdown. Shotgun now for Murray. Come on. Good job, Baron. Baron always has like crazy games against this dude. I think the other Cardinals users back for a year two. This guy, this guy is struggling. Still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching him mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. A final shot before half for Murray. And he's going to be intercepted. Running call, and it's quickly second and long. Tua sets up to pass it. That Good throw. It Here's tongue of Iloa on first. I think I got that. With double me, I think I have that for sure. Oh, yeah. If this isn't a touchdown, the game is broken. I was going to say, if that's not a touchdown, there is something seriously wrong with this game. 
<laughs> Bro, Baron is about to laugh his way into it like this guy is struggling. Thought. Good job, Stuart. Murray now to throw. <laughs> That's four. Oh my gosh. What a dumpster fire. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. He's gonna take a shot right away for the end zone. GG's, dude. GG's. Guys, two seed. We're playing it. I don't even remember. I think we played Atlanta year number one. First thing I want to look at and show you guys is just what a season. Truly what a season. Tua was robbed. Let's just say, hashtag Tua was robbed. I want to look at the stats of Drake May, but Tua was right there with him. Um, AFC, um, Defensive Player of the Year. NFC, obviously, which I just forgot I was in. Nick Harbour gets Offensive Rookie of the Year, which is amazing. Defensive Rookie of the Year, we didn't really have any candidates. Best quarterback is Tua. DeAndre Swift, Burton, best O-line. I, I would have loved to get one of those. Tevin Jenkins, actually. Sometimes if you get in the top five, some of those guys get superstars. Best DB, Woolen and Jedi Barron. Um, a lot of Texas fans have hit me up and been like, dude, he's so good. 54 touchdowns to 11 picks. He ends with nine interceptions this year. That's got to be enough. Like, if he's he needs to become our next, like, legitimate member of the Legion, like, Nobody deserves it more than he would to go up to superstar. Going into the playoffs, we had three 1,000-yard receivers. We threw the ball really well. We ran the ball pretty well as well, 700 yards on the ground. 1,200, Stewart was our leader. He was the best. Nick Harbour was amazing. DK Metcalf had 17 touchdowns. Sack-wise, we had a crazy amount of TFLs for Joseph. Joseph could literally go up. Um, and Devin Witherspoon had 10 TFLs, five sacks, and four picks. If he goes up to superstar, Sign the check. Like seriously, we could we could kind of go crazy with this entire thing. As far as Atlanta, this has been a team on a QB carousel. They really oh that's when I played I played him when he had like all the 14 QB situation that he had over there. Um it's John Rise, Plumley, Malik Neighbors. He's got a good squad, um, some superstars. Some decent speed, but I think I think we're better. You know, I, I really think if I lock in, if I play our game, if I don't make any dumb mistakes, I think this is a winnable game, and I, I hope it is. I gotta just go in with a lot of confidence, because what I've found is if I play with confidence, I'm good. If I don't, man cover by outside linebackers, block shed, who's catching, um, zone for middle linebackers. And don't really care for any of those. Um, change of direction for halfbacks, but I think he's already pre pretty maxed out at a lot of those things. Okay, let's do O-line. Pass. This is probably what I should have done the first. My O-line is my weakest part of my team. Why was this not the first thing I did? Um, pass block finesse. Yeah, we're just going to make our offensive line significantly better. And strength we can use too. But, ooh, I might have to reset one of these because I want a slow ratings regression. I want to slow it for my, is he a free or a strong? What's Julian Love? Oh, is Julian Love, I'm going to look just to make sure, but he's the one that I'm most worried about losing his development. Like that's, that's what scares me. I don't want him, I can't have him losing his development. What's he technically as a player? He's a strong safety. Okay. So I want to use it for strong safeties because I think everyone else like had good enough seasons where they'll keep their their depths. Like I don't think anyone else is gonna. Ooh, I think 80 run stopper I can get inside stuff with Boyamafe, which is huge. I think inside stuff. Yeah, right there. Boom. That's an unreal ability. Don't let anyone tell you that that ability isn't important. Okay, so I'm gonna use my we've or my ratings regression for Julian Love because he did. He did only have three picks this year, so I want to try and guarantee that he stays superstar because he's a big part of this thing. So I'm going to use that for that. Guys, with this all being said, I got nothing else for you. It's showtime. Put up or shut up. Find a way to win. Playoffs. The making of a dynasty. It starts with one. 
and we just gotta win four games. Okay, we got a track star here. Sometimes these are the players that I fear the most. We got the best secondary in the league. Baron is unreal. Um, we got the best secondary in the league, but our actual like run defense is sometimes really, really bad. So I think it's a legitimate like hole in this team is is the run defense. Just don't let don't let them go crazy. Good job. Oh my gosh, Woolen! Oh, he hates the, I can tell he hates the pressure. He's running my plays. I know all these plays. Oh my gosh, that needed to be so much better than it was. That needed to be a pick. Get over here! We scream every play. I'm not afraid anymore, kid. I don't know how I played the first time we played. You're number one, but I'm not afraid of anybody anymore. I got the best defense in the league. Looking to pass. Tua. Fant. Fant. Yeah. Just don't fumble. Okay, red zone has been a dead zone, but not in like a funny way. The red zone for me has actually been just a dead zone in a I can't score type of way. And that's terrifying. Now, we have the defense to back that up to where that's not necessarily the end of the world. But still, like, if I if you can't run, you can't pass in the red zone, you're not winning anything. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I'm sick about that. I am, I'm a little mad about that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got him though. Jedi Baron. I'm user in the middle, bud. Dude, one in doubt. We got. Thank you, Nate Wiggins. I would have broken everything I had. I would have actually broken everything I had. Okay, offense. He's not moving against us. Okay, we got our defense is unreal. He's gonna struggle all game. Offense. We just probably need 14 points and we win this game. He has no confidence, no momentum. I just can't make mistakes. I can't have tip pass interceptions like we just had. I, I need to lock in. Like throws like that are big and try and just hurry this thing up and score on, score from here, not close up. Score from like 23 yards out on like streaks and stuff. Like that. Wasn't a good read. Wasn't a good read, but I'm sick of, I'm, I don't want to go to the red zone. I have two jump ball specialists. I don't want to play football in the red zone. I'm just going to throw it to him every time. This is my fear of the run game. And Kyle Pitts. Truthfully, my two fears, run game and Kyle Pitts. Oh, goodness sakes. Because his defense has been kind of putting me in a bit of a snuggie. Baron, Baron, you are the MVP, dude. Second and 11. Smash route, in route, boy, I'm off, eh? Just elite. He's got a tough decision. If I'm him, I'm taking three, yeah. That's the nice thing is we've always had a good secondary, but Mafe, he helps. He helps a lot. You gotta catch it in front of him. Go, Evan. Dude, the defense, he, he's got some terrifying defenders. Like, fumble wise, he's already forced to fumble. He has terrifying, terrifying defenders. I just don't wanna mess with it. Both his safeties are first team all pro. There you go. Touchdown. That's what I'm saying about these safeties. They're terrifying. You almost got to keep the ball low. Like in with, with the route combos that I do, I think I have to try and keep the ball really, really, really low. Because anything thrown high into the air is going to be knocked out. 
like keep the ball low slants stuff like that pattern similar to what I just did rather than like usually in some situations I'll look for like a really deep post I'm avoiding that just because I feel like I gotta play it safe I can potentially go into half plus seven with ball which is a win now to the ground here's Walker now to a dot oh my god and with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially back to throw. Get over here. Yeah, he's struggling. He sucks against the blitz. That that's his Achilles heel. If I don't blitz him, he's got completion. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's out. He's out. Fourth down. That's huge. This puts, oh, is he really? He, I, either he trusts his defense or this, this has got to be a fake. I don't believe anything. Dang, he trusts his defense. He doesn't want to give me free points. I, I can actually respect that, especially because he has no timeouts. He's probably saying even if I get this first, I'm only getting three rather than giving me three. I don't hate the move, but I don't love it. Take your check down. Got him out. Okay, don't do anything stupid here. Dot. Nice throw. Nice throw, Tua. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. DK had a touchdown. I kid you not, that was a touchdown. DK ran into... We ran into our own guy. Oh, that's... So brutal. Luck wise, that is absolutely brutal. Dot. I sold that completely. I sold that completely. He's gonna go up top again. I sold that completely. Okay, be smart, can't lose this game now. Okay, I need an easy touchdown. This this is where I need Kenneth to just run. Like his red zone defense is actually fire. So I am relying a hundred percent on like, okay, please Kenneth Walker, can you go win this for me? Because his pass defense is clearly a problem. So this is one we might have to win with a little bit of creativity on the ground. Walker with another carry. Like that. Oh my gosh, Walker. Good play, sir. Trying to left side with Walker. Right now he can't stop the run at all. It's gotta be a touchdown. Ah, he played that well. Okay, I can't leave here without three points. I trust the defense a lot. So I trust the defense enough to be able to say, like, okay. If, 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 if. I can somehow create three points. I think I can win the game. He almost had another one. Good job. That's three. What that does is that guarantees three points. And not that I'm fighting for three points. I want seven. But I just... If he stops me, scores, stops me again and is just scoring on us constantly when he only has three points all game. I can live with that outcome. Go. Kenneth, you're gone, my friend. Please score. Please score. Please, Kenneth Walker. Please, Kenneth Walker! Needed it. Told you. Rely on him. His pass defense is pretty good. His safeties are really good. Rely on Kenneth. That's exactly what we did. Okay. 17-3. Yep. Keep everything in front of us. I'm going to blitz so that he has to check down. I want to blitz so that way he's forced this entire drive to take check downs. With the goal of hopefully either this being a 20-minute drive or an interception. One or the other. Either is fine. 
I mean, that, that's 40 seconds and 8 yards. I can live with that. Oh, Brett. Trust. Trust is the foundation. Oh, you got to trust it. Oh, that's such a book. Guys, end it. Honestly, end it. It's a horrible read, horrible decision. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Horrible, horrible. Through and through, horrible. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is caught. Now we got a football game. And now we got a football game. And this a very important drive leading in the fourth quarter of this wild card game. But this one far from over. Okay. Try and make this. One of the last drives of the game, or try and get him so annoyed with the run game that he goes cover zero and you can go up top to Metcalf or Harbor. That's that's your two options. That's that's how I see us winning this game. And that's an unreal play he just made. Stud, Nick Harbor, MVP him. Oh my gosh, that was so needed. I just saw the season flash before my eyes. Oh my gosh, Nick Harbour. That's the clutchest play I think I've ever seen in my life. He's not going to let me just run this thing. We're going to need one dot to get in field goal range and end it. What a route. Evan, what a route. Heads up. Heads up. He's in bounds though too. Okay. Either way, we're going to get his three timeouts. It's going to be at least difficult for him with with that. Kenneth, that might, have been, that might be field goal range. I don't know for sure, but that, that's close. The best throw I've ever seen. Situationally, that's one of the best throws I've ever seen in my life. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Holy moly. It's fine, Plumley. It's either way, he's relying on an onside kick. He would have had a money drive. I can't believe Nick Harbour caught that ball. Truly, that is that that's legend st status for a rookie almost. I cannot believe he caught that. Somewhere they're gonna keep firing away till the end, but this one falls incomplete. Falls in motion. It may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page, right? Second and eleven. It's a dot. Okay. As long as he doesn't get an onside and a Hail Mary, this game's over. I at least made it so that he had to use that timeout in this last drive. But oh, onside, Hail Mary, moving on. Or without an onside and Hail Mary, we're moving on. Except, GG's. Victory formation. Good game, guys. Oh my gosh. Harbor. That was Harbor's game. <clears throat> Every big time catch in like two fourth downs, I had to throw it to him in one on one coverage, and he made the plays both times. That's the only reason we won that game. He played excellent defense, his safeties were super good. <sighs> but we are victorious. GG's to my opponents. Guys. A little bit of redemption. Um, I'm not sure if you remember. Well, you might remember. I'm not 100% sure if you would remember the first season of this when I lost this, this guy in the playoffs. It was a really close game. We've beat him in the game since, but still, like, there's nothing that would bring me more joy than getting a W here. It's a good player. It's a good opponent. He knows what he's doing. We're going to blitz the league on him. We're going to play ridiculously aggressive. We're going to try and scare him. 
and just win a game that we're two games away take it one game at a time that atlanta one was a little bit dicey i gotta clean some things up i know that if i play how i just played i think we're gonna be limited a lot in like how good the results of this one can be i get plus one speed with nick harbour Evan Stewart's my favorite player though. Evan, even, nah, it's Nick. Mm, it's tough. I love them both. Um, but let's go look at this Lions team real quick. He's fast, which is, so are we. That's the thing, like he's he's quick. He doesn't have a great quarterback. Um, his receivers are all really quick. He's got really fast DBs. But I think this is a game we can win. I think this is winnable. <sighs> it's redemption, let's get it. That's the thing about him. His his run game is better than who we just played. His run game is annoyingly good. I find that he just whole run in situations where you just wouldn't expect somebody to be running the football. And that's what messes me up the most when I play this guy. So I'm just gonna try and blitz early. Be good with Baron, put him in uncomfortable situations. That's, I think, the best way to win against him. I really do. Got him. Oh my gosh. Cheat us. Cheat us. No. Oh my goodness. That's a pick to start the game that we just totally didn't get. That's KO. That's KO. Good job, Willen. Got him. Screaming at him all day. No, I'm not here to make friends. I'm screaming at him all day. Good job, defense. That's get off the field on the first drive. You figure everything else out. Here's Tonga by Loa to throw. Good job, Harbor. Way to be, Harbor. Way to be. That's the same kind of... That throw has gotten us a lot of clutch first downs. I can't deny it. That's been a really good read for us. That's all right. I think we trust the defense and take take our points. It's a free three points to start the game. He, he played good. I know his defense is going to be good. Let's... Trust our defense, take our points, and just play from there. Shoot, I don't want to do anything dumb on this first drive. And I also don't want the game to just reset. If I go for that and he doesn't get it, the game just resets. I don't want that. I want to make sure that I at least take the advantage and make sure that stop matters. Shoot, that's on me. That's bad defense. Way to be there, Mafe. Yes, sir. Good drive by him. Good bounce back drive. After getting stopped on the first one, this is a good bounce back. Another run for Gibbs here. And he's he'll drop to throw. Setting up the screen. Screen pass. Oh, you just don't expect it. He's the only one who does that. You just don't expect it. Good play. Shoot. Good job, Tua. Good job, Tua. At least when I throw out of under center once, it makes it so that he at least has to respect that as an option. It makes it so that throwing under center it becomes a worry for him. And that should help, like, open up the run game a little bit. Because right now we got no run game. Like, the run game is not moving. I have three rushes for negative six. Nice job. Good job, Nick. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not upset that that's not a touchdown. That was a great read, good throw, but 
with the way I am in the red zone, it's just never good enough. Stunt. Such a stunt. Good job, Kenneth. Good job, Kenneth Walker. Oh my gosh. Needed that so incredibly bad. We needed that. Okay, defense, we've been good. We need to be great. We need it. Like, if I can get a stop here, get seven or even three before half, we get ball at half. We can put ourselves in a good situation. We need it, though. Absolutely need it. He does the same run every single time. He's in, he does the same run every single time. Time, 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 time. Good defense. I don't know. Enforced a decision. Yep. That's excellent. He's going to take the tie. Huge play by our D-line. And we got 30 seconds with some really good receivers to try and do something here. That's crazy. Boy, Amafe and Desan um, were both right there. Good job. 10 up. I got no timeouts, but now at least I'm one dot away from a field goal, which could be clutch. And again, it's Tonga by Loa. Just tackle him. Just tackle him. It is what it is. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Oh, that that was the read. If we were gonna get it, that was gonna be the read. Okay. We get ball. Dang, always good games against him. Like, to his credit, me and him have some battles. Some excellent YouTube battles, me and this guy. There we go. Good job, Nick. Good job, Kenneth. Looking to pass to him. Stuart, you're so good for that. You are so good for that, Stuart. Running left is Walker. Down at the 25. The reason I run sounds like it sounds like the title of my first book. But the reason I run is because in situations like the, these, passing is never fun. People are you're getting people's best pass defense every single play. You know you're getting his best defense that he has. So it's like. Like here, he might honestly be blitzing us. Here's Tua. See what I mean? Like, you're getting people's best pass defense. Crazy. Crazy. I'm crazy. Good job, Evan. That's such a beam from Tua. In between the zones. Okay, defense. We need to stop. A stop and a three, we have a very good chance to win this. Let's go. <sighs> Come on, guys. This is a huge, huge, huge drive. Can't stop him. He's moving excellent. He's making good reads. I don't know where my user went. Oh, he took a step in the wrong direction. Let me tell you exactly where he went. Oh, gosh. Oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. 
I hate that what this is gonna come down to. I just, I'm bad in these spots. First thing, I'm really bad in these spots. Second thing, I'm really bad in these spots. But Kenneth is good in these spots. Okay. Do I onside kick so he can't kill the entire clock and go for two? Do I want to guarantee that I at least have a chance? And then on the off chance I get the onside, it's GG. Or do I give him a full field and just trust the defense and not be weird? Okay, third down. Oh my gosh. Third down and eight. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll look to throw. What? No. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no way that that just happened. Okay, that's tough. That's tough. I won't lie, that's tough. My gosh, does Woolen not Woolen's KO must suck? Oh my gosh. They'll try and throw for it. That's caught. No way. Tug of Iloa. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Okay, we can work the middle, but if we work the middle, we pretty much gotta get there with one play. That's that's the issue. If we are going to work the middle, you got to get there with like one play. He dropped it again. GG's, man. GG's. That's sickening. That's absolutely sickening. That's absolutely sickening. Good game to my opponent. Oh my gosh. I'm mad at Woolen. I'm mad at my fourth down defense. I'm mad at everything. I'm mad at absolutely everything. Dang. Okay. Well, I thought this was a game that we definitely had, but just did not happen today. We'll talk after the season. I'm sorry guys. I'm not gonna lie <laughs> That one stung bad. Oh, the Patriots ended up defeating the Saints in the Super Bowl I would be lying if I looked at you guys right now and said I was not absolutely shook It sucks when you feel like you play pretty good um, Comes down to the last play He called a screen pass and Absolutely just fooled me on the two-point conversion. I thought Woolen was gonna activate he did not but we got some things we gotta talk about here. Um, first order of business, Tua goes up to X Factor. Now Tua is the most, I wanna talk about all the X Factors. Well, all the up the dev upgrades. Well, I think it's only one. Well, actually, no, I think DK and Evan Stewart both are X Factor now, which is in, quite honestly insanity. And then on this in the secondary, it's so overdue. Baron is officially a superstar. So the Legion now has Julian, Baron, Desan McCullough, Tariq Woolen, Boya Mafe. It went down to superstar. Oof, he was my only regression, even though he had a really, really, really good year. We gotta talk. Um, the Tua situation, there's more than one reason why I would move off of Tua. Absolute stud, but at the end of the day, look at our receiving core. 
Okay, look at this receiving core. Look at the players on this team. Look at how good our team is. We're gonna be broke. Right now, Tua has X Factor. He's in his prime. I could trade Tua and get Russell Wilson type stuff. I could get an absolute bag for trading Tua. He has been a beast. He's an X Factor. 99, 99, 90 throw power now. 93 with the boost. A lot of teams would give a lot to get Tua on their team. We also don't currently have a first round pick in this next draft. In this next draft class, I traded my first. We don't have a first round pick. I went all in for a player last year and we have a second, a third, and a fifth. So long-term development, I do feel like getting rid of Tua isn't my worst decision. Now, there's a lot of question, like, okay, so this QB class, let's talk about it. It's Dylan Rayola, Nebraska, DJ Legway, Malachi Nelson, Jaden Rashada, Jaden Davis, Pierce Clarkson, um, Elijah Brown. It's top heavy. These three are all really, really, really good quarterbacks um, that I feel like could be fun. USC's Malachi Nelson, DJ Legway is obviously a scrambler. Um, there's good receivers, there's good players on defense in this class, there's a lot of talent. Do I load up on picks? Do I get a bag for Tua? And do I continue to build the greatest defense? And then I personally think Tua throws the ball, but the team itself is good enough, and maybe I'm wrong, where I could develop a new quarterback and a taller quarterback and become an absolute stud. But I'd have to get a lot. Like with these three receivers right here, I think any quarterback could succeed. With, the, with those guys throwing the ball, Kenneth Walker, all of these guys, holy moly, um, all of these guys, I think truly we can take over with any QB. And if I use those picks to just further make this secondary and this team better, I need a defensive tackle. I need another end on the side of my, if I use these picks to help build up the defense and then get a QB, I think the sky's the limit. That, that's my confusion. I don't know what to do. Oh, what do you guys think I should do? I just like, I'm mad because I just feel like one play, I truly think I could have won this thing. This is one of the most beautiful seasons I've ever seen. Like you just don't see seasons like this. You really, really, really don't. Like this was a movie, but a sad movie. Calvin Joseph should have went up and he didn't even go up to start up. He had 48 sacks this year. He didn't even get a dev upgrade, which is shocking. But at the end of the day, the way I see this franchise is I see this as a marathon, but I'm winning right now. Like, I'm not always gonna have the greatest defense ever. This has been an insane rebuild. And Baron going up to Superstar as a 26 year old, he's gonna have all the best abilities and three upgrades. Like, guys, this team is super legit. <sighs> do I stick with Tua and run it back? I just don't feel like content wise or brain wise, I wanna do that. I'm, I wanna see this team with an elite, true number one quarterback and I feel like we could win 10 Super Bowls in a row. I think Tua limits me a little bit from a mobility standpoint. There's reasons, I don't know. You're gonna hate me. I'm gonna try and get a bag for Tua, but it's, it's more than anything, the fact that a rookie might cost me 20 million a year. Tua is, cost, is gonna cost me about 60, now that he's an X Factor, like 65 million a year. So it's like, can I afford 65 million of my yearly cap to go to one player when I could get rid of them and with the three best receivers I've ever had, make any player insane? It's the million dollar question. And I don't have a million dollar answer, but we're gonna do everything we can to try and see. Guys, thanks for a great year. I apologize with the way it ended. The Legion is still very much intact and I love you all, um, but we'll be in touch. We'll see you in two days. This is not over and I'm, it's not over at all. Dang, I wanted that one so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Evan Stewart's so cool. Two is so cool. Like, how do you trade someone at the peak of their career? Maybe I'll regret it for the rest of my days, but like, part of me thinks Tua was carried a little bit by the three best receivers in the league. I don't know.